Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. What a night. Oh, another member. Ray has become a member. Ray has become a member of our channel. Thank you very much indeed. What a morning, what an evening. Did you make the, did you make the most of it? Did you buy um, the S&P last night on the dip? Did you manage to do it? You only had a short period of time to do it because it got shut down. Oh, another member, Tosh. The 69 has become a member. Welcome to you, uh, 69. I'll give you all your perks and benefits in a moment. Um, I've left the studio green because I anticipate a green day. And you might say, why would I anticipate a green day after a night like this? Well, last night I went all in on margin and bought the dip. Last night we had a big drop and uh, it, the, the global markets were halted. Not just Robin Hood. Uh, there was... Um, there was a global shutdown. Uh, you couldn't buy any stocks uh, for a period of time um, uh, because the markets were selling off. A bit of a bank run. We're going to discuss that this morning. Do you agree with that? Is that the right thing to do? Is it is it the wrong thing to do? Do you like not being able to sell your shares or buy your shares? You have to act very, very quickly, which is why I posted it on uh, X. Uh, you had the announcement. I, uh, we, we knew that was going to happen. It was it ha It's happened before. And uh, we gave you the information. I say we, it's only me. I keep saying we, it's just me. Uh, the information was out there on X last night. So what did I do? I bought more of the, the SNP. It was a bad, a bad thing, of course. Last night we had uh, an attack on uh, uh, is on Israel attacked Iran. Of course, we know all about that. We've been looking at it overnight. We've been covering it on the news. Uh, this is what's going on. You can see here. This is uh, the Middle East. We, we we've been covering it all all evening. Um, if we just go to some live news at the moment, it should still be running as a main event at the moment. Let's have a quick look over here. Let's uh, bring it up here. Just bear with me. Here we go. Let's have a quick listen. What's going on? Situation which is at the root of the instability, achieve the ceasefire and exchange of prisoners and work on a permanent solution as soon as possible. Sir Richard Dalton, former British ambassador to Libya and Iran, thank you so much for joining us here on the programme. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Well, as we've been saying, Israeli... Let me see if I can bring this up here as well. ...what appears to be retaliatory action for Iran's attack over the uh, weekend. Uh, well, joining me now to discuss uh, this further is Israeli... ...former Israeli ambassador to Germany, Jeremy Isher. Let's use it here as well. For joining us here, Ambassador. Sure. Um, I want to get your reaction first to what we saw uh, overnight transpire with Israel um, attacking Iran. First of all, as you said, everyone is being very tight-lipped about who did it exactly. Um, but in any event, I think the last few uh, days have shown uh, uh, that Israel is very capable of defending itself very decisively. So we will come back to uh, event, this, uh, this turns out to have been an Israeli attack, shortly, OK? If, as, as we need to, we'll in dip in and out of this. Way. but. It's important. Uh, um, um, let me just close out that. There you go. It's a green day. I just made that prediction. It's a green day if you bought the dip last night, if you bought the dip. Anyway, we're going to discuss all of that on the show. Of course, it's about Virgin Galactic as well today. Virgin Galactic. Now then, I've got a lot to explain here. Uh, we don't want anyone getting the wrong idea. I'm not saying it's done, it's finished. If you watch the video, you'll understand. It's all about the sentiment, the message, the weak management. We'll discuss that all in a moment. Okay, so let me just make a slight adjustment to my chair. There you go. It's just a slightly too low this morning. It does sometimes move. I have to make a slight adjustment. There you go. <laughs> right. Right then, let's start the show. Let's let's break this down and uh, let's go into a few points. Let's make sure we've got everybody here in the show. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, Eric. Eric, did you buy the dip last night? Did you get your SNP? It went down about 4%. At one point, very, very quickly, and it started to come back up again, and then the market shut down. Did you get your uh, a discounted S&P? I bought um, uh, six last night, uh, so I went all in. I'm my 12 grand of margin now. 
good good morning, Octavio. Octavio, was you on uh, Meet Kevin last night? <laughs> uh, someone called Octavio gave me Meet Kevin a, a super chat last night. Uh, and he called you out. He said, uh, thanks, Octavio. I just wondered if it was you. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Michael N. Good morning, all. Uh, space is the final frontier. Uh, let's, we'll, we'll come on to space in a moment, then we get through all the questions. We've got a new member. Uh, would you please welcome our new member? That's... Uh, Tosh, I hope I've I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Uh, Tosh sixty nine. Now um, you've got lots of perks and benefits, of course. Many things you can have a request tonight in the music show. Uh, if you join me for that, you can have, celebrate your birthdays. Poll the audience. You can ask me to do reviews. You can ask me to do uh, uh, earnings calls for you. Uh, there are uh, members only videos, members only live streams, members only chats. You can now be uh, at LucasAid on the on the extra channel. Discounts to all my uh, providers that provide me different software. You get discounts on all of that. Um, many many perks. After a while, your badge will turn two years, and you'll get access to the VIP personal meeting club. Um, you can do all kinds of things now. Uh, there's so many things that we've now produced a video uh, which tells you all about it and also how you get access to Ed Nevis's scalp trading. It's all for uh, training for free. We don't charge you for it. There we go. There is the video for you. Go and check that out. That also tells you how to get on Discord so uh, you can find out how to be part of it. Send in links. I'll report things for you on your favorite stocks. All of these things are now available to you as a member. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, we also had a member this morning join uh, our extra channel as well, which was very nice. This is uh, this is what happened over there this morning. This is Darren Knight. It's a completely different channel. Uh, the the membership the the but the benefits are separate. Don't confuse them. Um, so Darren Knight is now a member of our VIP club over there on uh, on Extra. It's a members only channel. It's a, it's designed so we don't have bots, scammers, trolls. We only get friendly, useful, uh, helpful information we can all learn from. Okay, uh, Zach Zate there. Today party, the real closing bell for the week and the opening bell for the weekend. There it is, Zach Zate. One of our biggest investors today with Virgin Galactic. Are you calling in in an hour and 20 minutes? I'd love to hear from you. The Friday phone in. Friday phone in. We've got to speak to you today, Zach. Are you calling in today? I would love if you could call in, Zach Zay. Love to hear your thoughts today. So please uh, consider calling in, Zach Zay. Thank you. Over there on the extra channel. Yes, correctly. A space it is space collapsed. Well, we're going to discuss space in some more detail in a minute, and hopefully, um, Zach Zate will call in and we'll have uh, a, 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 a conversation with uh, a member who uh, really is. Yes, he's going to call in the Friday phone in. Zach Zate is going to be on the phone today. That's really big news because he is a big perma bull of Virgin Galactic, and I'll be interested to hear his views today. Great. Uh, good morning, all. Space, it's the final frontier. Hello, everyone. Uh, morning, Mark Saxby. Another down day and test are under 150 this morning. Yes, 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 yes. Now then, I've got lots to talk about today. I'm going to try and make lots of videos with it. Uh, good morning, uh, Virgin. In case North Korea decides to conflict with the US. Morning, all. Wady, I appreciate your comment. Uh, I replied to you. I understand uh, you don't like my negative uh, thoughts uh, towards uh, Virgin Galactic. Please move on. Uh, I, I, I replied to you. Sorry you felt feel that way. Let's discuss it today. Momo the Great, any ammo stocks? Uh, of course, you can buy uh, Lockheed. Uh, that might be good, or or or, uh, or, or you might want to buy... Um, uh, what's the name of it now? It's just down the road from me, actually, in Dallas. Uh, Lockheed and Raytheon. That's the one I'm looking at. Simons is bullish. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Simon, I think it is. Adding to my position on space. Wow. You're going to do it before a reverse split. But remember, it might not even happen. Juan Zavala. Hello. Good morning. No, it wasn't you. <laughs> okay. Someone called Octavio last night donated to uh, meet Kevin. And I thought, I wonder if that's our Octavio. It wasn't you. Okay. 
All right. Welcome in. I bought space at 93 cents. Wow, Eric B, look at that all-time low. Welcome. Thanks for all the welcomes to our new member. That's lovely. Really appreciate that. I hardly have time to watch your show, Martin. Constantly busy at work. Absolutely. You only have time to watch my show. That's the way it should be, right? All right. <laughs> I love it. Uh, meet Kevin. Who's Meet Kevin? <laughs> Is space collapsed? Uh, we're going to come on to that in a moment. Uh, Green Day, uh, that one guy. Welcome to, yes, space on talks for stock split. Yep, we're going to cover it all. Yes, correctly. Welcome, Tosh. Thanks. I'd love to hear that Zach and Andy have to say. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can get Andy on the phone. All right. See, let's see if I can get Andy on the phone. Uh, and let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. Andy Shovel. Let's have a conversation here. Um, let me do it. I'll call straight away. Andy Shovel. Um, all right. So Andy, A N D, Andy. Hi, Andy. Uh, big, um, big uh, day today. Uh, could you call in? I have other guests too at the same time. I'm live now for... Um, at least, uh, at least two hours. Right, there we go, Andy Shovel. Let's see if Andy responds. Okay. Uh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Martin. Uh, good morning. So, John Granfor, I've just messaged uh, Andy Shovel. Let's see if he calls in today. Good morning, Martin. Appreciate your reply, Martin. Uh, it was just my feeling in watching the video, and it's become quite personal is all. I've sold half my space. Uh, it, it, it is personal. It is personal for me because um, I love Virgin Galactic and I, and I love my members who invest in Virgin Galactic and I feel the product is great, but the management are awful. So yes, it is personal. You're right. It is personal. Um, um, and I make no apology for that. Uh, you should never get attached to stocks, and you shouldn't. Um, and you shouldn't make it personal, I guess. I agree with that. However, sometimes sometimes it is, and it is right now. I'm not going to uh, beat around the bush or deny that. It is personal. I think it's a great, great shame. However, I think, as always, I think that my uh, reporting is factual. It's the news, it's the information, and uh, and all the rest of it. Anyway, there you go. Sell it all. You can still... Here's Bill. Good morning, Bill. How are you this morning? Welcome to Martin Luca's family. Juan Zavala. That's very kind. Hi, Bill. Thanks, Martin. Morning, Mike. Hi, John. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now then. We're a green morning this morning. Let's make some videos. Very, very important stuff this morning I want to cover. Um, and I want your opinions on this. So we're going to make about three videos during this live stream. Because remember, some people watch the videos afterwards. And uh, they don't always watch during a live show. So we're going to go members only now. So we don't have any trolls and bots and scammers come in and ruin the videos. There we go. We're members only now. Um, and, uh, it's all about quality. Even though I lose a few viewers, it doesn't matter to me. It's about providing the best service to my members. That's what it's all about. It's only, it's only 99 cents on the extra channel and a couple of bucks here. So anyway, um, let's, let's get ready. Pack bio, Chris Schultz, uh, waking up well. Yes. You, you've noticed that of you. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, um, let's, do, let's do a few things. We've got lots to cover today. So let's do it now then. Um, going to show this. Right. So 15 minutes. This will go out later. Um, 
Vu uh, 15. Right. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. Did you buy the dip last night? Do you agree what happened with the markets? You got shut out as Israel attacked Iran last night. We had all kinds of issues going on. We're going to discuss what I did, what I posted immediately. So all of you got benefits and you knew what I was doing. Uh, and uh, did you get in? Was you able to get in? Well, let's discuss it this morning. So this is being made during a live video. So uh, we, so uh, anything can happen. Anyone can comment, do a super chat over the top and all the rest of it. So let me, uh, let me tell you what happened last night. This was the moment and we can see it exactly here. Oh, hello. Wadey donated five pounds through a super chat. It is what I like about this channel. Valid opinions are appreciated and handled maturely. Maturely, I think that means. But uh, yes, there we go. I, I appreciate that. And I appreciate your support. I told you this was made during a live video. So anything can happen during the, the making of these videos. Look, last night, this was the moment uh, Israel attacked Iran last night. Boom. The S&P went down. It was nearly a 4% drop at one point. Doesn't show completely here on a line chart like this. But it was a very, very big drop. Let me show you what I did. Uh, here is the um, here was when it started. I posted it immediate, immediately for you. My members always get the information first. I have information I had videos come out first for the members and posts for the members, all kind of things. But anyway, this came out last night. This is when it started. Boom, we had an overnight Israel hits Iran. This happened. But what happened just after that might surprise you. Uh, what happened? Well, uh, just a few moments later, as it continued to drop, uh, Robin Hood shut down uh, overnight trading, 24-hour trading, of course. I can trade, as all of you can, on Robin Hood, 24 hours a day from 7 p.m. Central Eastern, uh, 7 p.m. Central on Sunday to Friday, 7 p.m. Uh, Central. We get a, um, a 24 hours a day trading, but it all stopped. Now then, what did I do? Let me share with you exactly what I did. I posted that it collapsed and that I was buying. So what did I do? Let me share with you. I took advantage of the situation. I started buying more yesterday. 461, 459, 453. As you can see, it went down big. Uh, went down really big. I bought at the bottom with four more shares. Now, how, how I've done that is if I share with you uh, this here, this is my real trades, my real money, as you all know. I am using margin at the moment, paying 8%. Um, there you go. You can see I've spent $12,000 now on margin at 8%. I will be paying off about $3,000. Uh, and remember, the first that 1000 is free anyway. I'll be paying off about $3,000 on the 21st of April when I get paid on YouTube. Uh, so I will be able to uh, pay uh, uh, a good portion of that off. I've also got, uh, also anticipate by the end of next month being able to reduce it further, obviously, when I get paid again. For me, it was worth it because that was a big enough dip. You're going to get $1.80, we expect, on the next earnings, uh, on the next dividend payment. So the interest payments will, will cover it. Now, that's why I bought the S&P. Now, I wouldn't buy anything else in a, in a conflict like this. Let me share with you why. Because at the end of the day, we, you need diversity and you also need defensive stocks. If we end up with a World War III, you need Raytheon, you need Lockheed, but you also need Coca-Cola and Johnson & Johnson and oil uh, as well. So the S&P is the perfect choice with the dividend and everything else. Now, if we look at defensive stocks this morning, slightly down, Coca-Cola slightly down. Uh, if we look at... Uh, uh, if we look at Tesla, awful now, 147. Uh, stocks are being hit left, right, and center. You can't pick a winner at the moment. It'd be very, very difficult to do that, uh, other than, of course, oil, which has had a nice little rally over the last few days. You see that spike there? Went straight up as, as this happened and then straight back down. That was on the 24-hour trading. Boom, boom. People took money out of it. And now that's a problem. You might decide, right, I'm going to buy Raytheon. I'm going to buy Lockheed. I'm going to buy oil. And the trouble is everybody then starts taking money out because... 
them losing money on other things. So they want to buy the dips on other things. So it's very, very hard to pick the winner. So I'd rather not do that. And I'd rather buy the overall American index, the 500 best companies probably in the world. It makes sense to do that. That's why I did that. Now, the question is, and the, what this video is all about, is Robin Hood halted the uh, the trading last night. Do you agree with that? I'd like your thoughts uh, in the comment. What happened was all of a sudden you couldn't uh, you couldn't trade, and everybody was getting a bit hot under the collar, going, "What's going on? My stocks are going down, and I can't buy. I can't sell." Now we need to explain what happened, and is Robin Hood, uh, you know, in the wrong here? Well, uh, this this always happens. Not always. But a lot of the times. Uh, so the reason I posted on X last night was to let you know uh, what what was happening immediately. Uh, there it was. There, there's the post. You saw it. If you follow me on X, you will know of all of these things before anyone else. I mean, I'll, literally, I'm on this literally 24 hours a day unless I'm sleeping. Uh, even then I'm waking up. <laughs> all right. I'm here to serve the members. OK, so basically what happened, it was a reset. Uh, you, you, uh, they, they fired off the, the circuit breaker. If it's like a bank run, if they allow everyone to fear and panic overnight like this, when not everyone can react to the market, just the big institutions and those who do have access to 24 seven, which everybody on Robin Hood does, the market could go down big, like 50%. If everyone could keep selling, Everyone knows it's going to keep going down, so everyone else keeps selling, and you get massive amounts of volatility. That's not good. It's great for you. It was great for me last night to buy that dip. I've got uh, I've got the S and P going back three or four months now. Brilliant, great, very good for me. However, it's not going to last for for many minutes because it's like a bank run. When people turn up at the bank and say, give me the money, it doesn't take very long before they stop giving you the money. All right. So that's what happened. Now, do you agree with Robin Hood? Do you think it's wrong? A lot of people will be talking about GameStop and they'll go in, oh, this is what happens. But you need to understand that um, uh, it's a bit like uh, it's a bit like a gold rush. If we have a gold rush at the bank and everyone takes the money out and everyone goes berserk, uh, then uh, the bank system breaks and nothing works for anyone. So you have to have have to have a circuit breaker. It's the responsible thing to do. It gives a reset. It allowed those that were really switched on to make their trades, get in, buy some, buy on the dip. And let me know in the comments below, did you buy the dip? Did you get that? That's why I was asking Eric earlier, one of our members who buys the S&P with me. Did you do that? And then it was stopped. That was it. You were the first in the queue. You got your shares and it was stopped. If it had been allowed to continue, we could have seen the stocks down 20% this morning uh, or during the night, that is. Now, again, great but also bad. So, uh, you know, you, you can't have everybody selling at the same time. It wouldn't work. So anyway, what did you do? Do you agree? Do you agree with Robin Hood? It wasn't just them. Other brokerages did it. For me, it's the right thing to do. It's a responsible thing to do. If we had completely free trading 24 seven, unlimited, the stocks could literally, we could wake up every morning and find the SNP at $1 up and down like a yo-yo if that was allowed to happen. It's not allowed to happen. People know there are circuit breakers, so they don't start getting in like that, try and do that. If that happened, we'd literally be living in a casino and the system would break, nothing would work. Nobody could invest. There'd be no structure. It would be chaos. What do you think? Click above my head, down below in the description. Was Robin Hood right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Over here, I'll post more videos. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. All right. That's that. Now, what about Virgin Galactic this morning as well? We're going to have a live phone in today, of course. I'm just messaging Andy Shovel as we speak. I'm also talking to Zach Zait live on the show. That's already been confirmed. But let's have a look at Virgin Galactic today. And let's, uh, let's have a little look. Let's turn the studio red for this. Um, now then, we need to be clear what this is all about. Some people, even though they uh, saw the first minute of the video, 
uh, thought they knew everything and didn't then go on to, to look at the rest of it. It's very important to understand exactly what this video was about. This is the trouble when people only look at part of the video. Right, so here we go. Uh, it's now 25, SPCE 25. Um, we'll, do, we'll do our live questions as well. We are in members only mode. So if you want to comment, you can be part of this video. Uh, it's very, very important. Virgin Galactic, the morning after, the night before. Let's discuss it. This is live during a live video, a live stream. This happened last night. What do you think? With Let's go. nowhere to go. Richard Branson, this is disgusting. Till next time, take care. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. Virgin Galactic. So last Galactic. night I put this video, video out. video I thought I and, would uh, never for all to see and share and all the rest of it to provide information of what was going on to protect you from what was about to occur. But some of you didn't understand it. Some of you only watched the first minute. Some of you only looked at the thumbnail, which very often happens. People don't take the time, which is incredible when you think they put their hard-earned money into something, but not actually prepared to uh, see it through and understand exactly uh, what is going on and what I'm actually saying. So I'm going to clarify this right now what exactly I was talking about last night, because um, it surprises me, but some people don't fully understand it. And on today's show, later on, on our live stream, we're going to have a live phone-in. I've invited Andy Shovel, one of the biggest retail investors in the world, to join us, and also Zach Zate, one of the permabulls as well, who loves space more than anyone, will be joining us as well, live on the show. Now, I put this out last night to explain my emotion and sentiment for the stock, what exactly uh, I feel about the stock. Now, I want to be absolutely clear. For those, for those of you that can't be bothered to uh, watch past the first five seconds, some of you thought uh, this was um, very negative towards Virgin Galactic and all the rest of it. And also, you said uh, some of you said that I have declared that there is going to be a reverse split. I didn't. I said there's going to be a vote for a reverse split. Why is that bad? What difference does it make? Well, let's discuss it right now. Virgin Galactic last night uh, announced they are having a vote for a reverse split, possibly one for 20. Many of you messaged me and said, what does it actually mean? Does that mean I'm losing money? Does it mean the stock's going down? What it means is if the stock is below a dollar for a period of time, and we've not even got even close to that period of time, the company is forced to take action to apply with SEC regulations. They have to remain above a dollar. There are other requirements to remain on the index. This is one of many SEC regulations. But um, it normally gets action a few weeks, a few months, in fact, after you fall below a dollar. Virgin Galactic have only been under a dollar for a few days. It's hardly at all. It's hardly happened at all. Hardly a significant uh, event at all. But by saying that we're going to have a, a vote on the 12th of um, June, I think it was. Forgive me if that's the wrong date. Um, by that, that was explained in the video last night. By saying that, you have indicated that that's your intention already. What it shows you is the, it, the management have no uh, imagination of how to get the stock up. They don't want to promote the stock. They don't want to get a celebrity on the flight. They don't want to do any of those things. Um, and uh, they don't want to address our investors, which we represent 95% of the world's retail investors. None of that's important to them. So they don't know what to do. So they've, re they've gone to the reverse split. A reverse split is the movement of a dying stock. Now, it doesn't mean to say it's going to die. It doesn't mean to say it is over. Five years from now, we could be at 100 bucks again, uh, where I predicted originally. With the right management, who knows? The company could be bought out. The technology could rise again under a different ticker. We don't know. What it does mean, however, is the management uh, have decided to take the um, position that they're going to reverse split or at least they're going to vote on a reverse split. Now, what that means is, it means that um, 
uh, potentially, if we vote on it and we agree to it, then you could have one in 10 or one in two uh, shares. Now, what does that actually mean? Let's say you have, uh, let's say you have two shares uh, at the moment uh, worth $10, all right? And then they, they, they reverse split two for one. You now have uh, one share at $20. It's exactly the same for you. Uh, you haven't lost any money. You don't lose with the reverse split. Just want to be absolutely clear. You don't lose. You don't end up with less money. Uh, you've got the same amount of money. The money you had before is the same amount of money that you've still got. That hasn't changed. But what it does mean is it means... Um, that it it, it it it's uh it, it it's just to it's just to apply by the SEC regulations they have to remain above a dollar but the point is it sends out the a a, a, a bad bad sentiment um it's it's a very negative thing to happen it's not a positive a forward split is positive a reverse split is a negative it's being done to survive that's it you don't lose any money but don't um, don't uh, get conf don't get misled or confused. Your stock hasn't suddenly gone from ten dollars to twenty dollars. In this example, uh, it doesn't mean that at all. Uh, you've just got one where before you had two. In that example, it doesn't benefit you. However, what it does do for the and I've seen this happen. We've had it live on the show. People who don't pay attention to the stock, it doesn't. It won't be affected by you guys. It won't be affected by me. Uh, institutions don't get drawn into this. But those that don't look at the stock, those that just come in, retail, very small retail investors that come in weeks later, months later, go, wow, look at this. The stock price is up. Now, you know, you might say that sounds ridiculous. No one thinks that. They actually do. They actually do think that because I've had it on the show when uh, we had... Um, Tesla uh, get a forward split and the stock price came down, not going up. Of course, it hadn't really come down, but it looked like it had come down. And people that hadn't been in the market for a while thought, wow, this looks great. Tesla's cheap. Now, it also means people that can't fractional share get a chance to buy the stock. That's a forward split. A reverse split is the opposite. A forward split is a good thing, like what Tesla did earlier uh, last year. It makes the stock cheaper, or at least it appears to be cheaper. You can now do a contract for cheaper because you can a contract options is 100 shares, so you can do that cheaper. But also, for those that can't fractional share, it seems cheaper. Technically, it is. You can buy a share, one share for less. Doesn't bother me. Fractional sharing is is just the same. Buying ten dollars of Tesla is exactly the same as buying a share at ten dollars. Ten dollars is what I've invested in. So that's a that's a, a forward split. It's fine. A reverse split, however, uh, is is a negative. But again, the same thing. People that haven't paid attention to the stock will come back in six months and go, "Wow, have you seen Virgin Galactic? It's now ten dollars. Wow, that looks good." And it and it does draw some attention. Very few, not a big deal. It's not worth mentioning. I don't know why I mentioned it, but I've mentioned it because you want the whole facts, right? But the point is, the overall uh, point to take away from this video that I put last night was, it's just bad sentiment. It means the stock is dying. Now, it doesn't mean the stock is dying. It doesn't mean it's all over. It doesn't mean we're never going to get the stock up and it's all finished. But it's the beginning of a very bad sentiment. And, and institutions won't want to buy a stock that's reverse splitted. It doesn't look good. Doesn't sound good. It shows weakness of management. Um, and we've been covering now for three years, many, many stocks. And I don't remember any, any reverse split stocks do well. If anyone knows, please reply in the comments. I've never seen any reverse stock uh, split do well and end up well. Specific, uh, specifically a, a SPAC. Remember, statistically, SPACs fail. Uh, above 90% of SPACs fail. This is a SPAC, special purpose acquisition. Those used to do well uh, back a few years ago, but since COVID, they've all been doing really badly. And then when you reverse split as well, you just add more negative sentiment. So there you go. There's my uh, thoughts on it. Uh, this is being made during a live video. Join us today uh, for uh, the live show, um, or if you're watching this now, uh, 
uh, the live show has already happened and you might want to rewind it because later on in the show, I'm hoping to hear from Andy Shovel, one of the biggest retail investors in the world. And we definitely have on the show in 55 minutes from now, and it's five past eight central time at the moment. Uh, we are going to hear from Zach Zay, who's a, a big bull on the sh on the stock, if not a perma bull, uh, believes in it, will probably be buying the dip as well. So join us for that. So there you go. That was the moment uh, I put this video out last night. Uh, that's exp That explains it all a little bit more, I hope. But since then, of course extra macro conditions are at play. We had a big drop last night on the S&P. I bought the dip before Robin had halted trading. Uh, excuse me. Click above my head, down below in the description, and at the end of the video, I'll put it over here as well. Go and check that out. Uh, that's the moment that uh, Robin had halted trading. I did post my trades. I was able to get in really quick. It was a reset. Circuit breaker happens all the time. It's not a bad thing. I agree with it. You might disagree with Robin Hood doing that. It's like a bank run. You have to bring the bars down, otherwise the whole thing would collapse. Um, and now we've got extra conditions and extra worry. Um, and people asked last night also... Uh, to me, they said, do we now feel that the rates are going to come down? No. In fact, the rates are more likely to, to stay up for longer because um, inflation is likely to stay up for longer because of oil. That will trickle down, put prices up again because of oil prices, uh, and then that means the rates will stay higher. Don't see any reason for a hike, but all of this is putting more and more pressure on Virgin Galactic. I see Virgin Galactic going down to 50 cents now. Um, and then, of course, that's the reverse split will fix all of that. But it will still be ultimately down at 50 cents if you look at it that way. Above my head, down below, over here and over here. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Um... Thank you, Wadey, for that super chat, by the way. Uh, hey, y'all, uh, 544 here in uh, WA. Uh, 5.44 in the morning. West, uh, five, really? Is that, is that West, where, 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 where's WA? Washington. WA's Washington, isn't it? Um, 5.44 in the morning. Are you? Have I got that right? Happy, happy Friday uh, to all. Hope you make some profits. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. John Granfor, no reason to think of splitting stock right now. Throw a celebrity on a flight and launch Virgin Glats only once they split so they can raise the price and have another round of dilution. Uh, that's very, very good. Yeah, I agree with that. Stephen Oil, yes, wow, PACB. Uh, let's have a look at PACB, SMX. Uh, we've been we've been covering it for you, and uh, this is, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, what can I say about this? Um, let's do this for you now. We need to cover this because we've uh, been watching this for a while. Uh, SMX, SMX. SMX, SMX, turn the studio gr bright green, of course. Um, I did get some more SMX links for YouTube. Faraday. Uh, that space. Faraday. SMX. What's going on here? Why is it downloading that? That's a bit weird. Okay. Virtual forest join hands, zero, uh, net zero, agriculture. Um, so solar. Uh, only pure play next generation power. Semi, uh, I see telling uh, virtual forest, one of India's design companies specializing. Okay. 
trying to see how this is relevant to uh, SMX. They don't mention SMX in this. It's not a good report. Uh, let me go back to that. Um, I'm just look. I'm just looking at this report sent you by Kevin B. They don't actually. mention they don't mention uh smx in this in this comment comment it's just we can see there's a connection but they're not actually formally saying it i don't want to report it if it's just alleged or whatever and that's not Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'm not going to report that um only because it doesn't really tell me anything. So I'm not I'm not going to do that. Uh you mentioned PACB as well. PACB Pacific Biosciences 146 that's still down. I'm not going to talk about that either. That's not doing anything particularly great. Um, I don't want to promote something, you know, talk about something that really isn't doing that much. Um, just jump three more cents. Hi, John. Good morning to you. Oh, they want to dilute to pay lawsuit fees. Thank you, Martin. Chris Schultz. Uh, you're welcome, Chris. Uh, just shows Robin Hood are controlled by the elites. Um I personally think our, our markets overreact. I'm not budging on my Virgin Galactic position. I think we will have a green day today for wrap. Radiant smile. Send me some stuff in. Links for YouTube. I'll look out for it. Uh, so, same here. Radiant all the panic selling over retaliation against Iran. Uh, yeah, everything so sells. What do I do? I just buy it. Um, I'm in flat X. Space is a rubbish stock, says Fight Channel. Fight Channel. I have been asked by GoDB to ask you if you could make me a little video with me celebrating a win and also sad celebrating a loss. Um, people love your um, um, uh, fight channel Barbie doll video, your, your fight videos. You know when you've got me fighting someone? It's really quite clever. Very impressed, by the way. Uh, if you could make me, if you're able to make me a video, um, don't put, all, uh, well, in fact, do it any way you want. Um, if you could make me a video, if you'd like to, I mean, if you want to, of course, it's a lot of work, but if you'd like to make me um, a winning video, so when something is winning, a stock is going up and I, and I can celebrate, there is me uh in the ring you know cheering and and winning uh and you know a, 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 you know really visual exciting winning and then also uh really sad and down and losing so then i could have a a, a little overlay video from you that i could use in the shows so when the stock is up and we're winning we have a little champion win or when we're losing we have a sad thing uh you know make it sort of visual and colorful and exciting um that would be really really great so uh if you'd like to do that uh, i was asked to ask you go db said you should ask fight channel if he would do that so there you go anyway uh, and obviously I will then refer everyone to your channel. So there you go. It's a bit of publicity for you. I would like to hear what Mr. Kearney thinks of the price now below a dollar. Is it still okay? Yeah. He's never going to come on the show because he won't ever allow anyone to record him or publicly make statements or anything. It's all just private calls. They never put their back, their name to anything. Uh, no, so he, he won't call in today. I have 13,000 in this and likely lose the lose a lot of money. And I'm okay with that. Are you? You're okay losing money. Okay, I'm not quite sure I am. Uh, not quite sure I am. Uh, can't focus on what I can't control. I've got to, to uh, I've got the rest of my life to make money. That's very, very true. 
Yeah, it's very, very true. I understand what you're saying, but uh, I don't like losing money. Sometimes you just got to get out and take the loss. Do you know what's next for Fisker? Uh, we're waiting for the um, announcement uh, for the uh, vote. That's the next thing. That's what we're waiting for. Um, if the purchase price is higher, the entry price is higher after the reverse. If the purchase price is higher, the entry price is higher after the reverse split. PSD. Oh, that's um, Pacific time. Okay. So WA. Well, is that West Virginia? Is it is WA West Virginia? <laughs> is it West Virginia, isn't it? I think. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, good morning, everyone. Jason Davis. Yes, I can work on that this weekend. Wow, Fight Channel. Fight Channel. Uh, GoDB will be re very excited about that. Thank you very much for even, uh, even uh, considering that. Time to get ready uh, for that ding ding. Yes, 15 minutes to go. Chris Schultz. Let's have a quick cup of tea. Let's look at our positions this morning. As you can see, we are up. Uh, well, let's say we're, we're right on the line. We bought the dip last night, 72,135. Um, Washington State. Ah, okay. Washington State. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> um, my state uh, general knowledge isn't up to much, is it? Oh, well. I've learned something there this morning. Always learning. Uh, let's have a look here. Finally got my first day member mug. I post on Discord for you in Breakfast Bar. Hey, David Hensley has just uh, promoted, just uh, told me about this. Look at this. Uh, we've got a couple. We're putting together a mugs list. Uh, there we go. What's going on there? There we go. Oh, hang on a minute. Why am I not sharing it? What's going on? Pressing on the wrong buttons. David Hensley, finally got my first day uh, day one um, mug. Are you ready? Okay, let's go over to the breakfast bar. Breakfast bar this morning. Here we go. Day one. Uh, day one. Look at, oh, oh, look at this. Vaz. Ooh, look at that, Vaz. That's a great breakfast. I'm loving it. Look at Vaz's breakfast this morning in the breakfast bar. I'm loving it. Uh, there's Mike. Uh, a lot of stuff in there I've, I haven't seen for the last few days. Oh my gosh! Look at this, Zach Zay. Oh, look at look at all this. Look at all this. <laughs> wow! Look at this. This is great. Look at this, Zach Zay. Have you ever seen anything like it, Zach Zay? It's got the Martin Lucas uh, uh, <laughs> crystal ball, Virgin Galactic to a hundred dollars member on day one. Look at that, the anniversary and the original mug. That's incredible. Uh, that is absolutely bonkers. I'm loving it. Look at that. Can you believe it? This David Hensley. Look, David Hensley. Here he is. Uh, that's awesome, David. Thank you very much indeed. I'm loving this. Look, and day one. Day one. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, member on day one. David Hensley. I can uh, save that image. And what I'll do is I'll turn it around so it says the right way around. I can do that. I can Photoshop that. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Uh, there's Patrick G. Patrick G has got his member on day one. Virgin Galactic to 100. Look at that. The commemorative mugs are flying in today. I'm loving this. Uh, let me uh, save the image. Um, let me save image. So save image, save, um, say, whoops, a daisy, uh, save at save and click on that one as well. Uh, save it, image as David Hensley. L E Y L E Y. We got 10 minutes to go for the belt. Uh, David Hensley, thank you. Uh, we got Patrick G. Patrick G, I love it. I love it. If you want to be on the show, I need your face in the picture. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, we'll call this wow. I've never seen anything like it. 
Um, we had one earlier. We got Mike, didn't we, from last week? I think we did. Yes, I've got Mike's already. Brilliant. Look at that. All right. Fantastic. Have I got any members to bring in? Uh, no, not yet. No new members to upgrade on Discord. Just want to make sure we don't miss anybody. Leave anybody out. WA is Washington. Thank you. Sorry, Mike. Good morning, all. Good morning, the Queen of Self Braiding. How are you? Washington State buying more DXYZ. Uh, is there any chance to get to know what stock should I buy? <sighs> Vishal, um, you keep asking me what stocks you should buy. I tell you what I'm going to do. I want to help you, but I don't understand your position. I don't know what your what your knowledge of stocks is, how much money you've got. I've got no idea about you at all, but I want to help you because you keep uh, asking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, invite you to call in. Would you like to call on the show? If you would, I'll give you the link, you are a member, you can call into the show and you can be on the show and we can we can discuss with you. I sent an email last night inquiring about purchasing a gold mine and haven't got any response yet. I sent an email last night. Okay, so did you send the email directly to Jefferson Boots, the CEO? All right, so um, let me talk about that now. Breakfast bar, just a moment for Mike. Mike has sent in, Mike's got, <laughs> Mike's got a collection as well. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is Mike with his collection. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? That's Mike. Uh, that's very precarious. Very, look at that right on the edge of the desk there, Mike. You be careful. Health warning there. Health warning. Be very careful. You're right on the edge of the, uh, you're right on the edge there. Uh, so be careful, mate. Anyway, I love it. Look at this. Uh, wow. What a collection that is. Uh, Mike, fantastic. Uh, let me come back to here. So let me, uh, just, uh, ask, uh, we've got eight minutes to go. Did everybody watch the members only video? Uh, did you watch the members only video? Uh, here it is. This is the members only video. I need to put this out just so everyone knows. Here it is. Members only. You have got the opportunity in the next few days. It's been extended because uh, Jefferson Boots, the CEO of a privately owned gold mine, is in Dubai finishing up this final round of uh, investment. He's about to come back on the show as well. He um, he uh, is taking this business pro uh, public on the New York Stock Exchange. It's Diversified Mineral Group. Do you want to buy a gold mine before it pre-IPOs? Buying it privately. This is like inside information, right? This is very, very good. I have bought some. Many of my members have. If you haven't, here is the video. I'm going to share it with you. Only members can see this. We don't want everybody emailing Jefferson Boots. He's one of my mates. We don't want everyone emailing him saying, I want to buy it. All right. So it's a members only video. You could be a member for like, what, two bucks or whatever it is. There is the video. I'll give it to my Rumble audience as well. They might want to uh, be in on the gold mine. I'll also give it to my friends watching on Facebook and Twitch and everywhere else. You might want it as well. Okay. So essentially, in this video, in this video, you you will um, get the contact details of Jefferson Boots. Okay. You can get the contact details and you can email him yourself. It's nothing to do with me. You're emailing him directly. Now, if you want to know more about more about it, uh, there's much, much more detail. If you want to go to the playlist, uh, if we go on to YouTube, I'll show, show you how you do this. Um, let me. We've got time. We've got five minutes. Yeah, YouTube. If you go over to um, YouTube, go to the search bar at the top, and you want to know all about Jeff, you want to know all about the, the, the company, uh, you're going to get a, uh, what you're going to get if you invest, you're going to get a convertible note with an immediate 10% profit. Immediate. So if you spend $1,000, you've now got 1100 
okay, to convert into the stock. And then when the stock comes out, you get a 30% discount. So you immediately make money. You can't lose on it. That's the purpose of buying a private company before it goes public. And then, of course, gold's going up 40% this year. So you're going to make a ton of money. There's no doubt. There's, well, there's always doubt, of course. But anyway, let me uh, share with you the, uh, the extra video. Martin Lucas uh, meets the CEO. Right. I've got, uh, there you go. Meet the CEO. Jefferson Boots. There you go. If you want to go and hear from Jeff himself, uh, I've got Meet the CEO series. Uh, you can also go for Diversified Mineral Group. There's a whole playlist there. And here is Jeff. Look, here's Jeff calling in from the New York Stock Exchange. Here, look. Over the, over the holidays, I think. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. And so if you want to, you know, learn all about the company and, and everything else. You've got literally days to go uh, before this deal finishes. So it's all it's all in our video that we put out last night, members only. There it is, only because I don't want Jeff receiving a thousand emails from everybody saying, I want to buy in the company. That's what the trade, that's what the stock market is for when it comes out. You can do it that way. But for the members, another perk, you can watch this video. I'll give you the link again. Uh, give you the link again and uh, you can watch it. You can learn more by watching all the other diversified mineral group videos, meet the CEO, uh, all the rest of it. You can search for it. Um, and there you go. All right. And then you've got this email. You can email him and uh, that's, that's it. All right. Right. We've got three minutes to go. Friday phone in. Uh, thank you for everything, good sir. David Hensley, thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for being part of the family and uh, providing great support and information to everybody. Uh, we appreciate every family member. It's absolutely brilliant. Okay, Jenny, good morning all. Thank God it's Friday. You know what, you know what today means? You know what today means? It's Friday and uh, tonight it's the music concert. Of course, uh, let's have a look at Virgin Galactic now. It's 92. I see it going to 50 cents now. Uh, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Nothing to stop it, uh, really. Nothing to stop it. Uh, Craig, good morning. Has anyone gotten a response yet? Vincent Vosberg, um, has anyone got a response back from the email? Um, you are emailing the CEO. He'll put you in touch, I'm sure, with his secretary. You're not going to get a response immediately. Um, but many of you have already bought it. I think there's about 10 of you of the members uh, that have already bought uh, and have their um, their uh, convertible note. I've got mine here under the desk. I've got mine ready to convert. I will be converting it onto Robinhood uh, stocks. And I'll be holding it. Uh, of course, eventually I'll sell it. That's the idea of investing. But uh, I will be uh, holding it for a while, I, I would imagine. Uh, hi, all. Any thoughts on Matador at the current price? No, I haven't got any thoughts. I've never reviewed it, I don't think. Good morning, all. One of my uh, stocks is at the exact price which I bought last year. Don't know what to do, whether I should wait until it gets up or shall I exit. The name of the stock is Stoke Therapeutics. Vishal, would you like to call into the show? I've, I, I've invited you to call into the show later on today. If you call into the show, then I will discuss with you and help you. All right. But and you, I, I don't know anything about your situation without talking to you directly. Uh, OK, uh, Martin, do you think that the drop last night in VU is at the bottom of the 10 percent you talked about? No, no, I think it can go lower. But I still buy it on the way down, though, because I don't know what the, what the bottom is. I have no idea. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I just keep buying the dips. I don't buy on the way up. I buy the dips. Use my margin as well. No response yet from Jefferson. I mean, yes, you sent the email last night. I doubt if you get a response within a few hours. No. 30 seconds ago, the IPO I bought last week has been released and made gains. I, everybody listened. Uh, IBTA. Okay, please. All right, you'd like to call in. All right, I will give you the link in a minute then. Stand by. We're about to ring the bell. I will give you the link in a minute once we've got into the main show, okay? 
uh, we, we have a, we have the phone in happening after this in a few minutes. I'll give you the link in a minute. All right, stand by, get ready. It's it's showtime, everybody. What's going to happen? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> The bell has gone. You can sponsor the bell for $20 Super Chat. Put your name underneath the video in a link to your business for a $20 Super Chat. Let's go. It's time to rock and roll. Right, the overall portfolio. I'm leaving the studio green because I think we'll have a green day, even though we might drop first. While holding, the S&P went down last night. Massive. There goes Virgin Galactic. There it goes. I said it's going down to 50 cents. It's now 89.88. It could go down to 50 cents. You could sell it now, buy it back at 50 cents. Whatever you like, there it goes. No reason to hold it up. There's nothing to hold it up. Virgin Galactic have put out. They want to have a vote on a reverse split. That's negative. No surprise here whatsoever. Not any surprise at all. What are you going to do? Follow it down, chase it down, buy it back lower. Blimey, no surprise, Virgin Galactic did it to themselves. Right, here we go. You might want to buy the dip, I don't know. Um, when I said I would buy $50,000 worth of um, um, Virgin Galactic, that was before they decided to offer a reverse split. Not going to buy it now, I'll tell you that for nothing. Right. There we go. Uh, the, the overall portfolio is holding up. My portfolio is holding strong. We're, we're down. Uh, Virgin Glatt is collapsing now. Let's go for all our positions. The S&P is holding. It's just starting to fall, but not very much. My portfolio is pretty good at this point. Uh, let's go, let's go. Virgin Galactic now 88 cents, down in the 8.5%. Uh, Palantir is down. Gold is going up 40% this year. Uh, but we keep saying it over and over again. The S&P, where is it? <coughs> it's actually holding. It's actually holding. Nothing wrong with that at all. We're actually holding. The S&P sold off last night. Robinhood uh, stopped it. Uh, Amazon going down. Apple going down. Uh, Next Era Energy holding. Enphase flat. Coca-Cola defensive going up. J&J defensive going up. Kenview uh, down. Uh, Chevron oil going up a bit, not much. Tesla, that's unusual. Tesla's going up, uh, which they'll be affected by this, but that's a, a positive for Tesla. Mind you, it's so low now, it's uh, only got one way to go, really. Uh, McDonald's going up. Google, flat today. Microsoft, next year, uh, sorry, Nvidia, Nvidia down slightly. Walmart going up Tilray. Goodbye for Tilray right now. More people are going to probably want this <laughs> before much, uh, much, much longer. Virgin Galactic now 89 down uh, 8% today. Walmart, Tilray, Robin Hood going down. People will be, will be anti Robin Hood today because of stopping the markets. It was the right thing to do. It's protecting the portfolios. They just don't understand that rocket looks like having children running around going, we don't like our parents. Yeah, okay. Uh, plug going down. Rumble going down. Uh, Funware up at the moment. FFIE, six cents up today. R Rio Tinto uh, put down but pushing up. Bitcoin, we are minutes away now from the halving. 64,000. Polygon up today, 5.5. Very nice. XRP, 50 cents. SMX today up 1.51. Back to Virgin Galactic, the stock of the day, 88 cents. Wrapped, uh, dropped 15 cents in 20 seconds. Um, yeah, PACB -C is up. Stephen Lewandowski, keep us posted. I always watch for your input on oil. 152, what is the support for space? What, there's no support. How can there be support? It's never been here. There is no support. Um, I think it will go to 50 cents. That's what I think. Um, I'm surprised it's even, uh, I'm surprised it hasn't gone down already. But it's, I, I mean, <laughs> the point is, it's extremely good value. It's probably the, one of the most undervalued stocks there is because it's it's now 
less than 50%, more than 50% less than the cash on the books right now. Um, so, but, but nobody wants to buy it. Nobody wants to buy the money that's sitting there for free. I mean, that doesn't tell you very much, does it? Anyway, alt volume and movement. Tesla seems to be creeping back up. Do you know uh, what what was the reason for going up five dollars on February the fourteenth at CNVS? Uh, I don't know what CNVS is. I'm afraid uh, I could research it for you, but uh, I don't know what that is. Now then, uh, earlier on, um, a member asked if he could call in. He wants to talk about uh, his positions and so on. He's a member of our channel. It is open. So we've got the Friday phone in in a few minutes time. Uh, on the hour, it's the Friday phone in. Uh, I'm hoping to have Andy Shovel on the show. I've invited him. I have not had a response yet, but uh, we'll wait to see what Andy says. Um, we've got um, Zach Zate phoning in. Uh, it's open for everyone. Mike often calls in. Stephen Lewandowski's called in before. Anyone can phone in, and our, our new guest as well, who's now a member, would also like to phone in, and that would be great. So how do you phone in? Let me give you the link to phone in. This is what you do, all right? This is what you do. I will give you the link right now. You go to our website, martinlucas.com. I'm going to give you the link, so don't worry. Here is the website, martinlucas.com. On here, you've got all the links. You've got the newsletters. You've got the cash giveaways. You've got all kinds of uh, the song list for the request show tonight. But also up here, you have the live phone in, right? I will give you the link. Here is the link for the live phone in. You don't need any software, any technology. You just have to use a browser. All right, there's the link. I'm going to give it to my guests on Rumble as well because we do have we do have uh, a um, subscriber on Rumble and that is the same as being a member. They get the same perks. We have one subscriber. We have 1,004 followers, but we have one member, which is the same as being, sorry, one follow, one subscriber, which is the same as being a follower here on YouTube. Now you've got the link to the website, which is this here. It says enter a password. The password is LucasAids. LucasAids. L, which is uppercase L U C A S, uppercase A D E S 100. Now I'm going to give you the, the password here in the chat as well. Then you come up to this screen, phone in live to the show. There it is. And now you've got the link. You put your name in there. Look, there's me. And uh, there, there I am. I'm calling in to my own show. All right. I'm calling in to, to, to the show myself. All right. Let me just. Uh... Mark donated $9.99 through a super chat. So disappointed in VG down 155k have 20,712 shares that I hoped would pay for a flight one day. If they split it 1 to 20 then I'm never flying with them as price of shares would. Uh, we just got that cut off. Let me make an adjustment to Mark Saxby's comment. I will come back to that. Let me give, I was just in the middle of doing this. Let me give everyone the password. So just bear with me. I'll come back to Mark Saxby's comment there. Uh, Lucas Age 100. Right. Lucas Age 100. There is the passcode. I'll give it also to my member uh, over there on Rumble as well. You have to use uppercase, uppercase L, uppercase A. Uh, and the phone line will be open in about 10 minutes. All right, for our Friday phone in. So stand by on the hour. We will do that. So if you want to call in, then you can. All right, that's how you do it. All right, let me just shut that down a minute. We're getting too many windows open. Right, now then, now then. Uh, Mark Saxby sent me in a message. Let me go back to Virgin Galactic. It's 85 now. There it goes. Look at it. 50 cents is on the cards now, 85 cents. No surprise whatsoever. Um, why Is anyone surprised about this this morning? You can now buy the company 
uh, the whole company now for a grand total price of 342 million. There it goes. 342 million. Richard Branson could come in and buy all the shares and the stock will go up, but he won't. He said he won't. He doesn't see any value in it anymore. That's what he said. I know. Um, so Mark Saxby did a comment. I want to go and adjust this. Um, so uh, he did a super chat. Alert duration. I'm going to make it slightly longer so this will work better because it got cut off. So recent events, Mark Saxby, let me do it again, and I've made an adjustment. Always uh, tweaking these things. That's a very, very important message here from a big investor of Virgin Galactic. Mark Saxby donated $9.99 through a super chat. So disappointed in VG down 155k have 20,712 shares that I hoped would pay for a flight one day. If they split it 1 to 20 then I'm never flying with them as price of shares would be. Right, hang on a minute. That didn't read it out. My uh, Vishal is uh, just phoned in. You can't be on the show unless you turn your camera on. You have to be on camera. Uh, you have to. We have to better hear you and see you. It's a. Um, it's a security issue. We have to have you, Vishal. I see you uh, in the green room. Um, you're calling in a little bit early. Uh, we've got another ten minutes to go yet before the phone in. But you do need to uh, turn your camera on. Okay, I can't admit you to the show without your camera being turned on. Uh, right, let me go back to Super Chat. It was on the screen long enough. Text to speech settings. Enabled. Maximum, right? Yeah. Volume enabled. Alert duration. Font set. I don't know why that I did all the things to make it last long enough. I've never had one so long. Super chat. Um, I'm just making an adjustment here. Uh, for some reason, it didn't. Um, last long enough. 24 seconds. Let me make it. Let me make it 30 seconds and try again. <laughs> I'm determined to get it right. Recent events. Let's try again. Mark Saxby donated $9.99 through a super chat. So disappointed in VG down 155k have 20,712 shares that I hoped would pay for a flight one day. If they split it 1 to 20, then I'm never flying with them as price of shares would. I don't know why it's doing that. It's only getting so far. I'm leaving it long enough. Um, I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe that's the limit. It will read out. Um, I'll 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 look further later on. Super chat. I'm sure I did everything right. Yeah, I don't know. I'll 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 have a look later on. I don't know what. Uh, other setting is missed. Anyway, Mark, thank you so much for your support. 85 now. I see it going to 50 cents now. 
Any wrap update? I'm waiting to hear from JD. They've said they're going to be on the show shortly, so I'm still waiting by. Uh, uh, Lance, as you've asked, uh, I will... Um, I will message them and uh, ask them for an update. Um, so I will I will chase that, okay? Um, sorry for the loss, Mark. This is really disappointing management. I've had, the, I've had this planned all along. Yes, I do believe so. It looks like that. Hi, all. Um, our guest who was calling in earlier is no longer on the phone. Uh, I, de I do need you to call in with a camera. Hi all, have you had uh, bad news? Hi all, have we had bad news on Virgin Galactic? Buckaroonie, where the heck have you been? Buckaroonie, where have you been? Oh my gosh, really? Have you not seen my video? Uh, it's a hundred times the, uh, the most uh, pop, most watched video on our channel. A hundred times growth rate, this one. This is the video. Everyone's watching it. Share. Here it is. This will tell you all about it. Um, so, uh, Buckaroonie, the, the most awful news. Uh, go and check this video. There you go, Buckaroonie. I've just given it to you. Uh, anyone selling above uh, 50 cents? Good morning. Jumped into. Uh, jumped into. You bought as well. Thank you. Uh, the overall, it's gr another green day today. That's because I bought the S&P last night when it dropped, when it, when it, uh, Israel attacked Iran. It was a free gift. It was only available for a few minutes. Uh, Robinhood stopped trading. It went down like 4%. I bought another six or whatever it was, six shares of, uh, the S&P. And as you, oh, hang on, my tea's just turned up. It's a nice green day today. Virgin Galactic just approached banana 50, 50 cents. Not a good day for my members. Just telling Leah, because of course we still hold it on her account. I said I have and that's it, right? Um, but not trading it anymore on my main account for, for integrity. Uh, okay. Okay, great. I look forward to you calling back. Uh, any wrap up date? No bad news. Buckaroonie insiders driving down price on purpose. No bad news, Buckaroonie insiders driving down price on purpose. Uh, Buckaroonie, what's happened is we've got uh, a vote for for a reverse split. A reverse split, even though the stock was only under a dollar for five minutes, they've already given up and announced a reverse split, or at least a vote for a reverse split. That video will explain it all. Go and check it out. I'm currently at work, but it is okay if uh, if I call. Yes, you can call anytime. You are a member of our channel. We're here to help. You can call anytime you like. Sorry for the inconvenience. Never apologize. It's not an inconvenience. You are a member of my channel. You are a member of the family. You are, we are here to help and support you. Thank you, Craig. Uh, the comment is too long. Yeah, and uh, character, characters wise, characters. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't, um, hang on. Let me do it again. Uh, super chat, uh, general settings. Let me have a look. Um, yeah, super chat. Uh, text to speech settings. I've done everything. Voice, security, time, volume. Yeah. Um, super chat. Sound volume. Duration. Alert duration. Alert text delay. Super chat. Uh, Font size, font weight, font settings, font weight. No, there's nothing about you can't have it so many, so many uh, characters. You you have the delay, you have the time there. I don't know. There's there's no setting which allows me to uh, make it longer. Anyway, sorry, mate. Yeah. Agree with you, Radiant, on a DXYZ. Don't buy rap, says Vincent Vosberg. Okay, Trick, I'm driving to Lowe's. Now we have, now we know why Cole Glazier was transferring shares to his son's account. Craig, do you have evidence of that? 
Craig, do you have evidence of that? Craig, I would like to report that. Uh, do you have evidence of Michael Cole Glazier transferring stocks to his... Um, to his uh, sons because that's despicable. Um, that's, even, that's even lower, as if they couldn't get any lower. Um, do, you, do you have evidence of that? P-A-B-C going boss man. Let's have a look. P-A-B-C. Uh, we just covered it. P-A-B-C. No, there's no ticker called P-A-B-C. P, which one, which one was it? Um, let me find it. It's not P-A-B-C. It's P-A-C-B. P, that's it. P-A-C-B Pacific. Um, yeah, up to day 3.42. Um, we just covered this. Uh, yeah, doing very nicely. Congratulations to you. Um, well done. We put that video out and it's doing all right. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Mike. Uh, time for a refreshing cup of tea. <laughs> My favorite part of the day, James 007. Let's go. Let's go to the back of the studio. Let's have a let's have a let's have a cup of tea. Thank you, uh, thank you, James, mate. Every morning, James gets his own part of the show. He never knew this when he became a member, did he? <laughs> Every morning, me and James have a cup of tea. You got a biscuit there, James? Send me a biscuit. My favourite biscuits are digestives and rich tea. Someone asked me the other day, they said to me, uh, I would like to send you on Amazon some biscuits to have with your tea. If you would like to send me some biscuits, some digest... Or oh, I'll tell you what, we could have a little thing here, the best biscuits. All right, I've got an idea. If anybody wants to send me some biscuits, you could sponsor the biscuits. You can sponsor the biscuits to dunk in my tea in the morning, right? What we'll do is this. What we'll do is this. You can buy biscuits on Amazon, Right, you can buy biscuits, you can buy rich tea, digestives, you can buy jammy dodgers, you can buy chocolate biscuits, all of it. Right, what you do is this my email is I'll put it in the chat Martin. Whoops, hang on a minute. This is my email Martin uh, at martinlucas.com. You can email me because <laughs> someone asked me the other day, oh, hang on a minute, how's that like that? How's that like that? What's going on here? What what scene am I in? iPhone. Let me just change that. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Bear with me. There we go. That's better. Someone asked me, can we send something into the show? Can we send you some biscuits? or I don't know, whatever it might be. And yeah, you can. So there's my email in the chat. If you email me, you can do, if you want to, if you want to sponsor the, the, the morning breakfast, the morning biscuits, you can, you can uh, send a Amazon gift card to that email and you can put on the gift card, this is for Rich Tea Biscuits. This is for chocolate digestives or whatever, I will then order them on Amazon with your gift card and it will come in. <laughs> and I'll sit here and I'll have your and I'll have your gift card message. So if, if it says like Martin Luke, Martin gets some digestives or whatever, all right, you, you can write that on the gift card. You can email that to me. I'll share that on the screen and I will have your biscuits here. So if, if you want to do that, someone asked me the other day, how can we send stuff into the show? Uh, have it featured in the show or whatever. That's how you can do it. You can email a gift card to that email address, put in the message that you want. I'll show it on the screen and then I will order that product. <laughs> That's funny. Right. Anyway. 
Rap is not a good investment at this time. Run the numbers. Agreed, Vincent. Uh, thanks, Mike. One six six A. Yes, it was SEC filing weeks ago. Would have uh, would have to try to find it. If you can find that, that would be that would be really interesting. If you could find that, that would be very. Oh my gosh! It's now eighty cents. Virgin Galactic, look, eighty cents now. Nothing to stop it going to fifty cents. Actually, uh, it could even go lower than that. No one's going to buy this now. With that reverse split, no one's going to touch it. Um, we've got the Friday phone in in five minutes. What is Zach going to say to this? Uh, how much short interest is there on space? Good question. A ton, an absolute ton. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, let's have a look. Twenty five point two five percent X extreme extreme and uh, it's going to increase. I'm sure. Now, could we get a short squeeze only if people want to start buying it? Maybe that's what they want. I don't know. I can't see it. I can't see why uh, you've got the stock 79 cents. Bloody hell. I, you know, I said it was going to go down, but it's going down quicker than I thought. I mean, 18%. The company's now worth nothing. It's now worth a staggering. What's it worth now? The market cap now is 318 million. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's the entire company for, for 318 million. And it could go half of that. <sighs> no, don't apologize, Chris. It's fine. Cheers, Martin. You're welcome. Space 81 cents. Kit Kats are nice with a cup of tea. I do. I prefer, I prefer rich tea, digestives, chocolate biscuits, if I'm honest. Ch uh, yeah. Or a jammy dodger or a, 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 a garabat. Was it, what's it called? Garabat, garab. Garabana, Garabano, not one of those for you, or or a or a or a ginger nut, ginger nuts, they're good as well. Martin is lurking in the middle of the screen. Yeah, what was all that? <laughs> what was all that, Mike? Martin, I think you should sell a matching Martin Lucas biscuit tin and coffee tin jar set in your shop to go with the mugs. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I'll look at it. How many minutes do I have for a video call? Uh, as long as you like, long as you want. I mean. I don't, uh, I don't uh, cut you off. Uh, if, if uh, it's, it's the Friday phone in now. So the Friday phone. So Zach Zate, Zach Zate is about to phone in. The Friday phone is about to start. Uh, if you want to call in, the uh, the Friday phone in is about to uh, begin. Um, so if you want to uh, call in, you can. Uh, cam two. Let me. I'm gonna make an adjustment here. Cam two. Cam cam one. Copy of cam two. Where's cam one? Cam one. Right. Let me slide this to the top. Uh. All right. Cam one. Here we go. Uh, we've got calls coming in now. Stand by. Stand by. Duplicate. Uh, so this will be, this will be uh, phone in. We'll call it phone in. I'm going to make an adjustment here. Right. Phone in. Okay. So uh, I need to see if you are on camera. Uh, yes, you are. Vishal. Thank you. Give Just give me a wave so I know I'm talking to, you can hear me. Uh, give me a wave if you, if you can hear me. Oh, he's off. He's just lost connection there. We'll bring him in in a second. Zach Zay as well. I want to have you uh, in uh, if you want to call in. Uh, we'll come back to Vishal in a moment. Uh, Virgin Galactic now being bought at 81 cents. What do you think? Um... Virgin Galactic, 81 cents. Palantir, gold, Amazon, 
SPCE. Zack Zake, the phone is open. What is Zack Zake doing? I'd love to know. What is he doing right now? Love to know. Okay, here we go. We've got our callers coming in. So we've got uh, we've got an, uh, our, our audience coming in now. Let me put everyone's name on the screen. Uh, guess one. Uh, and we'll assign a guest two as well there. Fantastic. Right. Um, you need to turn your camera on, um, Vishal. So what I'm going to do now is go over to the interview screen. Uh, we've got... Um, We've got uh, Zach Zait waiting to call in. So add to the right, add to the left, uh, add to the left. You should be there. There he is. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. What's going on there? How are you, Zach Zait? We've got a slight issue with the cameras. Let me just. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, I can, I've got audio coming through from somewhere else, though. Oh, hang on a minute. I know what the problem is. Uh, let's put back into return to the green room. Let me do this. Add to the right, add to the left. Not quite sure what's going on. Let me just fix this. We've got a slight technical issue here. Uh, source, we've got Zach Zait. Uh, yeah, that should be there. Zach Zait and, uh, uh, add to the right and to the left. Camera. There we go. There we go. All right. I've got it up now. Fantastic. Um, uh, I need to, uh, Vishal, I need to have you on camera if you're going to be on the show. All right. It's just for security reasons. So let me, let me talk to Zach Zate first of all. <sighs> Zach Zate, Zach Zate, my mate. Let me, um, let me bring this in. I'm going to make uh, a special event from this. So stand by, Zach Zate, my dear friend. I'm right with you, my mate. I really do feel for you today. Right, let's uh, do this. It's a Virgin Galactic special. I've just invited Andy Shovel onto the show. Hopefully he'll be joining me later. But right now we have one of our biggest investors, our perma balls, our most committed, dedicated space fans and lovers of Virgin Galactic. He's here with me live on the show. Of course, we want to hear from our dear friend. Uh, everyone give a lovely warm welcome to Zach Zate. Good morning, Zach. How are you, mate? Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. I'm very well. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Appreciate it. Always lovely to have you here, and uh, I always have a, a have a, 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 a moral dilemma and an issue. Every time I turn this camera on, we talk to the world, 59 countries now, 14 languages, people investing in the stocks, real pain. This is not, even though this is entertainment and this is a community to support each other, it's real money, real lives, real, peop real people, and I'm aware of that. And when I report on the news I reported on last night that I thought Virgin Galactic could now go to 50 cents, before I published that video, I knew some people would be stressed and upset and in pain and frustrated and so on. I try to make the videos as I, you know, accurate and factual, but yes, it is emotional and it's entertaining and it's, it's done in a way to engage the audience. But I'm also concerned that how it impacts people um, Zach's eight talked to me this morning. I am really so frustrated at Virgin Galactic, as you know, and I know we love the product, but announcing a reverse split two months or a potential vote for a reverse split two months ahead when it's only been under a dollar for a few days. Was that appropriate? Was that necessary? Someone has just mentioned me to me this morning that Michael Cole Glazier a few weeks ago, was transferring shares to his sons. I've got no verification of that. I like the mug, by the way. <laughs> got no is ver. It? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it got a nice bit of weight to it? Because it's metal. Is it nice? Yeah, 
Yeah, it nice. keep it warm also. The, yeah, the whole yeah. Food is like it's like a little warm. flask, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to have to get one. I don't own one. I have to buy one. I might get a discount. I know the man who made them. I might call him up <laughs> so I get a discount. Um, but maybe I won't. Um, anyway, so evidence to say that he's been transferring shares to his son. I don't know what that means, but we're going to look into that. Zach Zay, talk to me. How are you feeling today? Are you happy? And what's your thoughts on Virgin Galactic today? Martin, nobody can be happy when you see the share price this morning. Nobody can be happy after uh, yesterday. It's a sad day, but it's a news day. Uh, once a company keep you up and keep uh, you informed what's going on, it shows that uh, they care. I think every CEO goes uh, to sleep and wake up looking at his shares and the price, and he want to do better. But there is no much happening the last uh, half a year if we're looking since the last flight so money is definitely an issue and uh, this week I heard that uh, just like you mentioned this morning we're going to keep probably the we're going to keep the 5.5 percent uh, rate probably till the end of this year there won't be I believe and I'm involved with some people that just like you mentioned this morning I was amazed to see how uh, knowledgeable again you are with all the information you bring to know that all those small company or specs that came three four five years ago yeah 90 percent maybe more will fail a uh, spec is a uh, experience now when you look at the stock market yes if you like soccer or not there is the champion league now this week was very exciting with big games but the champion league is the s p those are the 500 if you're a champion or the four top uh, teams in a, some uh, bigger uh, state or country stories that have uh, good soccer you'll be in the champion league now the s p will kick you in as they will kick you out why because tesla now 11 percent you mentioned this morning also they might gonna kick you out no because um i think uh, the progress of the company the product of the companies keep uh, showing and growing so those are growth company a spec is experience so the fed doesn't see in a well the amount of specs that came to the market in the last few years and all the young generation the new investors all that money the corona and they came into those hope shares but there is a product there were flights and there will be flights they're showing there will be delta so yes if you are investor and martin lucas investor is for investor it's a long time it's a long journey i gave myself five years to get fifteen thousand shares by the end of last year i was five thousand shares now i'm at ten thousand eight hundred and i will get the fifteen thousand of course with this price it's more temptation now, investor takes a long time, so it, you don't do it in one all in. You do it with consistently of buying. So, yes, I've been buying since August 4, 19, 2021, and I decided to start buy space for the reason of the excitement of the brand, of the company, of the product and the flights. Nobody have it yet. Nobody, I think, will have it. Of course, it's a small competition that uh, was between uh, Musk, uh, Pezos and uh, Branson, which the three of them want to get into space. Uh, SpaceX now very exciting, but still people don't go up there. So if you're looking at people, not satellites or rockets and missiles, it's the only option. So it will take much longer. The Fed does not help. He wants you to survive. But I do believe everyone that fly on that company involved with the people with a lot of money, we are just the investors sometimes we hope to make, but if you consistently believe that the Delta will come and it is a US company. So I do feel there will be the support and the money and the help to get this company to the Deltas to create money. Because right now it's still a spec that doesn't make much. And the Eve or the Unity does not make the money. So they decided to wait for the Delta if we want to make money. So it is a long journey. We all hope that tomorrow there will be a flight or hopefully in the next uh, earning they're going to publish uh, for the flight in June. But as you see, even if it's June or the 12th, they're going to do reverse split. I don't see 
nothing much till the Delta. That's where the money should make that company, if they will get it. So the question is, will they get there? And by the company shows that they will. All their X shows that they're working and progressing in the factories, but it does cost a lot of money and no money comes in. So I understand the situation. It gives us yeah. more opportunity to buy lower. I under I, I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you that the stock is going to be asleep until Delta. There's no, no no one would dispute that. I think you're absolutely right, but I feel the management aren't helping. They're not understanding that this is uh, predominantly a retail stock owned uh, position. And retail investors are the ones that uh, are buying the stock, or at least were. Now they're just selling and selling and selling. And it's it's all, all very well and good to, you know, believe in the future, as I still do. I still believe in the product. I don't know if it's going to stay with Virgin Galactic, if it will get taken over, get private, whatever. Because at the end of the day... It's, it's all about numbers. It's not just the dream and the, the wonderful thing that it clearly is. It's also numbers. And when a stock gets uh, in a, has a reverse split, and I've looked, at the, I've looked at the statistics and the numbers, the SPACs, and like you mentioned, like 90-odd percent, you bring all these things together. Statistically, and, and that's all we can do as an investor, statistically look at the averages, the odds, the chances. and uh, uh, you know That's how you make your educated investments. You know What's the likelihood? What's the risk to reward factor? The, the, the reality is a SPAC that has reverse split I don't know when there's ever been one that's ever survived. Now, that doesn't mean to say a Virgin Galactic it's not, and that you might somebody might go, oh, I've got one over here. You didn't know about this one, did you? Um, whatever. The point is, though, under a dollar, when you see this stock go down and down and down, I said today it could even go to 50 cents because now we've got the war, macro conditions, we've got to have rates up for longer. All of that is putting a lot of pressure on Virgin Galactic running out of money. Now, they do have still a decent amount of money. They're not running out of money today. We all know that. However, if rates stay up for longer and this drags out and the Boeing thing drags out for a year or two and takes money out of the pot, they have to raise funds. They can't attract new investors when the stock price is so low. Institutions don't want to buy a stock under a dollar. Institutions don't look at this sort of thing. Retail investors get scared. Shorters start piling in um, and uh, we get a whole load of pain. Now, if you can ride that out, like clearly you are and others like you are. And Andy Shovel said yesterday he was thinking of buying in at this level. Michael Ferrari was also looking at buying in at this level. I even said, should I buy in at 50,000 shares at this level? People are sat on the fence looking and, um, you know, suddenly everyone jump in really quickly. I mean, flipping heck, it's 318 million for a whole rocket company. I mean, it wouldn't take a few big investors and this stock fly. Um, I am just concerned that it's so cheap, considering the amount of cash on the books that it has, and still no one's buying it. At what point are they going to help themselves? At what point is the management going to do the right thing? When I spoke to Mike, when I spoke to uh, Eric Kearney, he says everyone's a star. We don't want to talk about you know celebrities flying. It's good enough for other brands. Other brands recognise the celebrity. Look what recently happened with Levi's. The way it bounced up because of uh, because of um, Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce, yeah. And we we've seen Rolex and Ferrari. They all attract some attention to the eliteness of it, the excitement of it. I mean, you know, even Ronald McDonald <laughs> runs around mm -hmm. promoting McDonald's. There's nothing to get this, anyone excited. And I just think uh, if we find out and uh, Craig sends in that verification that, you know, Michael Cole Glazer has been shoveling off shares to his, his, uh, his, his sons and all the rest of it, it doesn't, it doesn't, sh it doesn't show confidence in the management. What I would like to do, I would like to come along today and I'm going to put this out there as a suggestion, all right? Because there's some very big people listening to this show this morning. We've got uh, some very big investors who collectively could buy this entire company today. What about me, 
Michael Ferrari, um, Andy Shovel. There's several others. We all buy the whole lot. We buy out the company. We take over the company. <laughs> it wouldn't take that much to do it. We own it, right? So now we've got the company. We've got the customers ready to fly. They're, they're ready to go. We've got their deposits. We can start to make money, right? Let's promote it properly. Let's get some celebrities flying it because they have some celebrities booked in. Let's change the way Virgin Galactic do things. Let's stop shoveling off shares to our kids. Let's stop selling our shares. Let's hold our shares, make some commitment to get behind it. Let's get the whole thing moving. There's a little thought in there. You're right. If you tell me tomorrow there is a flight, I will drive to the middle of the desert to watch that flight. That's exciting. Yeah. But if you tell me that I, for three years, almost uh, picking up uh, uh, more than 10,000 shares, and in a one second, the company give away 25, that's, that hurts. That hurts. People does have uh, saving and wishes with the market to make it as a future uh, investment. And that's what it's all about. So every share, if you're one holder a share, or if you're a million shareholder it doesn't matter those shares we care we care so much about you can't give them away you can't do that that's something that if you tell me what's wrong that's wrong for me 100 percent. that's where it hurts you don't play with the shares now if you want to run as a squeeze and Eric said uh, he came from a squeeze area from uh, other stock uh, that he used to be. GameStop. I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of uh, GameStop squeeze. And GameStop is still a stock. They still exist. They still have those stores and they're working and selling. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and I, don't, I'm, I don't think that this year those uh, four companies that came from $8 to 118 or those that came, uh, there was $20 to uh, 92 And those squeeze are alive. They're happening. And we shouldn't be afraid of it because the same as uh, everybody going to try to uh, put conspiracies and corruption and bad news and drag you down. And the most will be the company itself. They don't want you. Elon Musk does it again the best way. It doesn't worth it. But I got to tell you that I have the same case. If you remember about eight months ago, I gave you a $20 tip for a 92 cents a share a, <laughs> of a stakeholder. That company that I personally started picking up those two specs, okay, three years ago, I have my other shares, which is again, the S&P, I love to keep watching, but those two, I decided, okay, those will be my two specs. So I want to get to 15,000. So I called him this morning, gave me the news I wanted to hear because we've done, we got down to 50 cents. All right. So $10, you play with them, you go down to 50 cents and then you get that note and they do the one to 10 reverse split. So my 15,000 shares become 15, 1500, 1500, one to 10. And the share from 50 cents become $5. So I have 15, hundred with five dollars and this morning about an hour ago they revealed that the regains compliance with the nasdaq minimum bid price requirement so they after the 10 days being above again the five dollars the, the, above the dollar now the nasdaq release all the warning and they can keep work again so there is life after reverse split. It's, it's still a spec. I'm still waiting for the product and it will come. And again, once you invest and you investigate and you know what you go with, you got to, it's not believe, you got to be a fan. And you can be a fan of Starbucks and Tesla and every company you open. The beautiful is we are in the USA. So the USA supply to the world. Now they supply bad things, the weapons and guns and that's the war we have. So everything is down. There is no reason to be happy and there is no reason to be making money because that all got to be solved. And when 
the world won't be sad world again, we're going to be probably in a benefit of enjoying those packs because people with great ideas and great mind deserve to be noble. Well, I appreciate your call as always. Uh, what I'm going to do is we'll end this call in a second, but stay where you are because I want to ask you about Israel today. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, share your yes, thoughts sir. on that. But uh, yeah, um, it's a difficult day. I uh, am I'm frustrated seeing the stock price so low. I appreciate your uh, you know your commitment to it and belief in it. I still believe in the product. I think the product has proved itself. People want to fly. People want to do this. They've already queued up 800 plus, 850 people ready to part with their hard-earned money. That tells you everything. You know, that's great. Uh, I just think um, the way it's been managed has been has been appalling, and uh, you know we we literally could t take over this company. Wouldn't take that many people to buy enough shares here and uh, to, to to get involved. Anyway, um, maybe let's see. But uh, it's going to make it more difficult. Even even the reverse split, it uh, makes it more difficult for them to raise funds, and then of course they want to dilute, go back to the shareholder. Shareholder isn't going to feel too good about that if you get diluted again. But if you're a long-term investor, as you clearly are, and others are, obviously, the price is, is uh, holding up a bit now. It's starting to buy in. People are buying. I just would like to see people not uh, trade it out, but hold on to it at this level. So that on that note, as we close this interview uh, with you this morning, Zach, are you buying more today? 83 cents? Does that interest you? I'm missing 4,200 shares to get to my 15, and today gave me a much lower price. I have a goal. They're helping me with that price, but no matter what the price would be, my goal was to get in five years to 15,000 shares. Once I started, that was my goal, and I will stop there no matter what. Even if the reverse split dropped me 110 to 1,500 shares, uh, or 120 to 750, it doesn't matter. I will stick with my goal and wait for the Delta. I'm not happy. I'm, I don't think Richard uh, uh, helped as much. I don't think, again, the management helping at all. But I do think the idea and one of the things there is probably they're, I think they're even surprised from the from the amount of people starting grabbing and seeing the potential of that company. And uh, now with reverse split, you know, I feel it with the other company that it's it's kind of balancing a little bit. And if there is a delta, which again it's a long journey, this one, I'm sorry, it's a not day trading company. That's it. It's not a day trading. It's a long term. It's a journey. It's a belief that something will happen, and I'll tell you a secret. Even if it's a reverse split or not, I'm probably going to sell in 100 because that's something uh, that this company should get with the deltas and with the right plans as they talk. But all yeah. the rest, it just I will stay bullish to the 15. I'm sorry to those who are missing and losing, and uh, it's horrible feeling. But uh, I got to say, believe and keep in your uh, investigation and knowledge. But, and there is no doubt we knew it's going to drop down today. So if you would tell me three years ago to put now the same amount on the idea of that company, I will do it the same. Stay right where you are, Zach, and I'll come back to you. There is uh, Zach Zate this morning talking Virgin Galactic. You heard him. He's got a strategy, 15,000 shares. He's holding all the way. He's adding more until he gets there. He's got his plan. He's sticking to it. He believes in it. Do you believe in it? Are you still holding your shares? Are you all in with Virgin Galactic? Difficult day today, but remember, it's always worth noting. You've never lost anything until you sell at a loss. All that's happened today is people are prepared to pay less for the shares that you own. That's all. It doesn't mean they're not worth as much. It doesn't mean the company's worth less. It just means people aren't prepared to pay as much today. But of course, that can change very quickly. 
If things uh, ha- uh, for the, the, if things change at the company, then there are many things that can change that. Then suddenly everyone's piling in, wanting to have a part of it, and they're prepared to pay a lot more for the stock. Remember, the stock is going to sleep now. It will be asleep now for a period of time. Until Delta, there's no reason for the stock to pop. There's no reason at all. There's nothing to say. There's no great balance sheet. There's no good numbers, nothing. But we will cover the earnings very soon. That will be very interesting what they say on their earnings after all of this. We'll cover it live. We'll cover the flights live. We'll cover everything live and keep you updated. It's not over until the fat lady's singing. The fat lady may be standing in the wings, but she's not singing yet. Click above my head for more links down below in the description over here and over here. Check out the video I put out last night. Um, It's uh, designed for information and entertainment purposes. It it reflects the emotion I have and how my uh, investors feel. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Okay, come back to uh, Zach uh, a moment. Um, we do have a, a guest on the phone. We, we got Vishal uh, on the phone. Is uh, I'll just put him in the the green room. Uh, hello, Vishal. Give me a wave if you can see me, hear me. Just give me a wave if you can hear me and see me. Uh, I can see Vishal at work. We'll come to you. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Just give me a wave. I'm looking at you in the green room. If you can hear me and see me, just wave at the camera. Nod your head, anything you like. Can you? You're, you're, <laughs> I think you can see me. Yeah, you are. You're smiling at me. Fantastic. You are. Brilliant. Vishal, if you, if you don't mind, just hold there for a moment. Uh, I'm just talking to Zach, and then I'll bring you in in a, me- in a moment. I know you wanted some support about your position. Zach, just as we got you on the phone... What's your thoughts with what's going on in Israel today? Once again, it's... And, and I, need, I, need to let, I need to let everybody know you're originally from Israel. You can make, you may tell from Zach's accent. Yeah, I've been to the US since 1998 and... Uh, you still got the accent the, though. <laughs> uh, they told me never to lose it, so I'll That's right. it forever. Still got um, it. But uh, since October 7, the situation uh, just turned into a war. It's uh, horrible to see and follow how uh, trying to exist as a state become like a world issue. And there is a lot of, of course, negativity. Last week I've been driving in the Bay and I've seen the protest standing and blocking main interstate, tied them into with chains into uh, the rails and ambulance police is uh, it's it just horrible because the world want to speak and it seems like the main headquarters doesn't let us the people you know the real love and passion bring it out because it seems like they bring the hate sometimes and they bring that awful decisions of attack um I don't know how it's going to end, but it's not good. Yeah. I know everyone lives there. People are more than half a year out of their homes just trying to survive because the area is a war zone. It, it's not good. And, well, and of course, in Gaza, with all the respect, more than 34,000 has died over there with the same from the Israeli forces, which trying just to make, to organize this mess. There is must be stop or release. I like that release, release, release for the hostages. You can't come to a country and pick up more than 200 people and just hostage in 2024. They got to release. And I don't know where it's going to go till then. I'm going to bring into this conversation. Uh, oh, oh, I was just about to bring in Vishal, but I've just lost him. Uh, from someone that is from Israel, that area of, uh, of the Middle East, what do you think comes next? Are, are Iran going to just, you know, saber rattle and uh, say a few words and we'll leave it where it is? Or as some people think, World War Three has already started. Uh, they suddenly launch and uh, ramp it all up. 
you you probably have a better uh, idea of that than most being from that part of the world. And I know you're not from Iran, you're from you're from Israel, but do you think Israel Iran are suddenly going to uh, launch a strike a much bigger strike than last time and then of course Israel will retaliate again and it will just keep on go- escalating. What do you think, Zach? In the last attack, more than 200 missiles has been uh, fired toward Israel and with the US, Britain and uh, Israel itself, 99% of them has been shot from in the air. Um, it is like a robot war. It's like, I don't even get that technology, uh, how impossible and incredible it is. It seems like the shell is is strong but the people are weak the Zach Houston donated one dollar and 99 cents through a super chat Martin and Zach is it better to sell and buy back <laughs> sorry about that Zach <laughs> is it better to but is it better to sell and buy back well I'll, I'll just continue what you were saying Zach and then we'll come then we'll come back to that uh, so comment. if the people with show that love and gathering trying to talk and get together i believe there will be solution uh, this been going on for so long russia more than a year with ukraine that's something gotta stop and the u.s in the main in the top in the leader will make the right decision eventually like uh, how to continue i think the 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 game is in so many hands but the power is in the U.S. to make the right moves and the support as needed the places and where uh, it needs to go. The problem is that so much money, people, lives are going with, I believe, for no reason instead of build and develop and high tech and science and explore. So, yes, we are. I wrote it yesterday. Space is a small, a small, a very, very small uh, fish in the ocean, full of sharks, and the small fish is kind of swimming backward. That's how I feel. The world sw- is a small fish swimming backward, <laughs> but still swimming. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. I've got Mark Saxby on the phone. He's just joined in. Could you turn your camera on its side, Mark? Uh, I think this is the very first time we've ever had you on the show. Let me just, uh, I've just got a couple of uh, cameras to get right here. Let me, oh, Mark's uh, disappeared just for a moment. Uh, Let me see if I can get uh, uh, him back on the line. Um, There we go. There's myself and uh, Mark's just disappeared for a second. Uh, Mark, let's just wait to see if I can bring him back on. He's just sorting his camera out. And it looks like we'll have uh, three or four people joining in, which will be nice. Sorry to uh, have that uh, overlay go over your head there from a super chat from uh, Seth. That's what happens sometimes, a live show. Um, he asked, is it is it right to sell uh, now and buy back lower? Well, it, there's, it's a difficult question to ask, to answer without knowing all the, the ins and the outs. If you sell a stock at a loss... You can post it as a tax loss, but you want to know, first of all, are you are you going to be paying any tax this year? If you're a low tax payer and you've not got no tax, if you haven't got any tax to pay, then uh, have you overpaid the previous year and might get some money back perhaps because you've got a loss this year? You need to know that. Uh, if you are going to sell and then you buy back, you have to wait at least 30 days. Otherwise, it's a wash sale and it, to qualify, and it won't count if you buy back tomorrow. So you have to sell today and then wait 30 days. And, of course, in 30 days, Virgin Galactic could be $2. Nobody knows. So to say sell and buy, if you want to sell because you've had enough and whatever reason, that's that's fine. You sell, you want to walk away, that's fine. Take the loss, that's fine. But if you are looking to sell to buy back, remember I've always said this this is a game of chess, not checkers. You have to know the next three or four moves, what your intention is. If you're going to sell, are you done? Because you're not going to sell and then think, should I buy back? You're selling 
because you're out or you know you're coming straight back or you're coming back after the wash sale rule or whatever it might be. Uh, have you got any uh, thoughts there for, uh, for, for uh, Seth at all? No one can know, nobody can know, but there is sometimes feelings and news. I remember about a week ago, Sensei in his Sunday show, we spoke about uh, the XYZ and I'm looking at the attention and I had no doubt I'm going to buy because I, there was some attention in the studio. Everything was feeling it's right and SpaceX and what? And you know what? From 400, 467, I sold. That's when you know if they trade. If you prep yourself through the night and the morning and you know the news and those are day trade. If you are a long term, and you want to get a part of the company, you want to buy always more. The way to sell is once you put yourself a goal of 20%, 30% up, of course, nobody will like to sell that. Nobody. And sometimes they will insist. So I will recommend to work on your average. Definitely know what's your goal. And if you want to sell with the profit, Nobody knows if it goes down or up again. Nobody no, will. Do nobody it. knows. As you can see, look, Mark Saxby for the very first time is on the show. Welcome, Mark, to the show. Lovely to see your face. Uh, we hear from you all the time. We see your comments. Now we know what you look like. How are you, Mark? Where are you calling in from? Um, well, I actually um, originally from the UK, a fellow Brit like yourself, Martin. I hear the um, accent. I'm currently sitting in my wife's hotel room in Nashville because um, she came for a conference and I've recently come to pick her up. I drove up here yesterday from Florida. So. Fantastic. I can still hear, I, I can still, I can still I hear the British accent. I apologize for the view because I'm um, holding the phone in front of me. And also, if it does go, the connection's not great where I am. So That's fine. Don't worry about that. Another Virgin Galactic investor. How do you feel today? I'm gutted. I've got 20,712 shares, an average of 8.43. Oof. So I look this morning, I'm down $162,000 at the moment. Yeah, try telling that to your wife. Yeah, I bet she's, is she, is she there in the room? No, she's at a conference. Sorry, you said that, I beg your pardon. You're driving up to yeah. see her. Sorry, I got confused. Yeah. Um, I bet she's not very happy, is she? No. And honestly, you know, it's you take mm. the losses and you take the wins. But the biggest problem for me would be the fact that I was hoping to fly with Virgin Galactic. They do a one for 20 split. Sorry, the AC's just come on. I'm just going to move because it's getting a bit loud. That's um, right. We can't hear The it. whole point with me is the, the, tw the split. If it splits down to 1,000 shares, you know, one to 20, I'm going to have to wait for them to get the 600 bucks before I can afford a flight. It's it's frustrating. Yeah. To say the least. Are you hold are you are you like Zach? Are you holding on? Are you not you're not giving up? Absolutely. You I've are got, I've got the faith in the company. I like what they're have doing. Have you got faith in the product or have you got faith in the company? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the the product, not the company. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. I think we're all like that, aren't we? Uh, mm. I mean no one else is doing what they're doing. Yeah, For now though. Doing it. Yeah. And I mean, it could come, but I mean, they, you know, there's some people want to do it in Florida with a balloon. I'm not sure I want to go to space in a balloon, you know, <laughs> and then Bezos is doing it, you know, but he's going on a rocket. And, you know, the one time that fails, you're falling at 400 miles an hour towards the ground. I love Virgin Galactic because you're on a plane. It can glide to the ground. If anything happens, it just glides down to the ground. So, yeah, yeah. It's no, just I frustrating to say the least. No, I, I agree at the moment there is no competition. I've always said this. If you're paying a premium price, and let's remember, if you're, uh, if you're going with Bezos, you're paying a lot more. I think it was some millions, I think it was, the price. It was a lot more expensive. I can't remember what the, Tom Hanks was quoted, like 20 million or something ridiculous. Uh, yeah, the last time I heard it was $22 million. Yeah. And then so, you pl and then I've always said it's for me it's not it's not rock and roll enough. You plop down in a desert on a parachute. But I know I know it's a soft landing. Someone's going to say to me it's really soft. Yeah. 
but it's it's still plopping down in the desert, right? Um, whereas whereas Virgin Galactic, you land on, on a runway. It just feels more premier, you know. You're paying a lot of money. You're flying into space. You come down. You land at the, at the you know, the whole thing just looks good. Uh, we've got Vishal on the on, phoning in again. If you can come on camera, you can join us. Uh, join with our four of you uh, phoning in. Uh, so, Mark, it must be very, very painful for you today then to 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 uh, to feel like this. But you're holding on. You're you're staying in as well. I am. I'm not selling at a loss. I'm going to hold on. I'm hoping. You know. I mean, hope is always out there, but. If they do a one for two split, then okay, I've still got over 10,000 shares. You know, that's what I'm going to be voting for if we can. So, um, I just quickly, while I'm on the phone, I'd just love to say hi, Zach. You know, it's been great to be on the phone with you. Of course, you Mark, you're incredible, I and I'm proud. And I, I got to ask you, was it uh, through the last three years that you still keeping buying the shares, or was it in few times uh, only um honestly i've had most of my shares before richard flew i actually um i remember looking at my account um one day when they got the faa approval and i was up like um i think it was eighty six thousand dollars in one day because the share price went up 15 bucks the day they got the faa approval i held them all the way through the flights all the way through richard's flight watch it drop like a stone you know, after all the dilution and everything. And, you know, my average is 8.43, but here we are at like 80 cents now. It's just incredible. The, the, honestly, the biggest concern for me is the split. I don't understand it. You've been under a dollar for two days. Why are you thinking about a split already? You've got no faith in your company. You should be thinking about that when you get the notice from the NASDAQ. I saw um, Sensei said it's better to do it beforehand rather than rushing, but I still think it's way too early. And if it was me, like Martin says, throw someone a flight, get a flight up next week. You know, you can do it. You know, you're successful. You've done everything you said you was going to do. Get a couple of celebs, fly them on a flight next week and watch the price go up to about three or four dollars again. Oh, yeah, of course, we know they're dilute, but that's how they do it. It is frustrating. Just frustrating. Yeah. I mean that's 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 exactly my sentiment. I uh, you know I, I I agree with everything you said there, Mark. It doesn't it doesn't need to be in this situation. You can see we've just had Vishal join us as well. He wants to join in the call. Uh, where are you calling in from, Vishal? Um, UK, England. From the from England, wonderful stuff. Uh, are you investor in Virgin Galactic? No. No, uh, <laughs> you've never bought it. Lovely. Well, now's a good time. Mark Saxby's thinking, good time for you to buy it now. I mean, I paid $8 a share. You can buy it now for 81 cents. Go on, buy some, he's thinking. <laughs> We're all thinking the same thing. Vishal, if you could turn your camera on its side, it would fill the screen. It would look better. Uh, oh, you've got, you've probably got your phone with um, the rotate turned off. If you've got an iPhone, you scroll down from the top there's a little button which says turn the rotate off. There you go. There you go. That's better. There you go. Mark, I, I can only imagine what you're feeling like right now. It doesn't it doesn't make me feel good or bad or anything else to be in. Or, I mean, I'm currently out of the stop, but remember, my wife holds my the shares I used to own, so I'm down as well. I just don't have it as my bro, uh, on my brokerage here, so I, I'm not feeling it on the show, but it's, it's, it's behind me in the back of my mind. So I know what you're feeling like, Mark. Um, Vishal, you've got sorry, Mark. I think you were going to say something. Yeah, I was just going to say that it's just it, it is just frustrating. It seems like they have no um faith in their company at all. I, I've had other companies I've owned that have gone through a stock split. The worrying thing for me with a stock split, the biggest worry I have is that as soon as it splits, a the price will go up. If you split it at like let's say we split it for 10, right. It's yeah. going to go up to about $8, okay? So what's yeah. the company going to do? The company's going to turn around and dilute those shares down to four. And then what's going to happen after that? Everyone who shorts the stock now is going to have another chance to short it to a dollar again, and we'll be back in this place in another year. And then it'll be like, oh, let's split the stock again. That's the problem. Shorts, uh, 
I wish they would wouldn't do that. I, I I hate the fact that people can short a stock. I just don't understand that. Why someone would why the, why this country gives the ability to someone to short a company in out I, of existence? I have no idea. I agree. I just don't, uh, I never understand. I'm going to bring Vishal into the conversation now, but uh, I, I, and if I, if I can keep you two on, because two good yeah. uh, investors here, you might be able to offer Vishal some some insight as well. It's good coming from more people than just me. Um, I agree with you. I, I would be the first person to say I <coughs> vote for no shorting. You either buy a stock because you believe in it and you're an investor or you don't. You shouldn't be allowed, in my opinion, to be able to drive a stock to zero. Remember, when a stock is driven to zero, it puts people out of work. It puts people, it, it destroys businesses. Uh, Mark's right with me. Uh, you know, it puts people out of business. Uh, people lose money. Look, 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 look what happened in, in the in the Michael Burry, the big short in the U.S. in the uh, in the in the in the in, in the big crash when he saw that the the, the banks were all going to go bust and everyone lost their houses. People committed suicide. People took their own lives. People lost their health. You know, hundreds of thousands of people were affected. So a few people could make some money. I think if you don't like a stock, if you think Virgin Galactic's the worst thing in the world, go and do something else. Don't invest in it. But purposely banking on driving something down so you can destroy it, put people out of business, it's real lives. Look at all those people that worked at Virgin Galactic that got laid off uh, last year. They lost their jobs. We don't know. We don't know what happened to their health. We don't know what happened to their mortgages and their relationships, how many got divorced because of stress. That's the reality. Anyway, I appreciate your thoughts. Uh, guys, now we've got uh, a new a new member today who's never called in before um, from uh, Vishal. He's become a member of the channel. So welcome to you from all of our. These are some of our oldest members here uh, in the show, Zach and Mark. And uh, you are asking today a, a specific question. Now this is great because not only are you putting it to the the viewing audience, you're putting it to these guys as well. So remind me, what was the question you had today? Well, there are many questions to ask because the thing is like uh, uh, last year I bought many stocks and uh, because I was a new and I didn't know like, uh, uh, like you, you know what like, you know what I mean like uh, how to evaluate and uh, how to buy and all that but I just like uh, installed the application then I started like investing on some stocks. So for example, like last year I bought like a Nicola and KLA so uh, and uh, I still remember like uh, what was the amount which I bought like two point something dollar. Then uh, I was just waiting for, you know what I mean? Like I, I was just waiting for it to go up. It didn't go up. It just, it was just like, it just started getting down. Then I was just waiting, waiting, waiting. But you can't imagine like how many shares I bought. I bought like 10,000 shares. Uh, I bought 10,000 shares for a two point dollar something. And now you can see the price like it was, it is just like six year, uh, 60 cents, I guess, 60 cents something. And I'm stuck like on some stocks because some of the stocks are like, I'm under a 90 person. Seriously, like, right. I well, don't know how to explain because I bought like, uh, I'm holding uh, some stocks because I'm just waiting uh, to recover my money. Right. And I don't know what to do now. Yeah. Right. Well, first of all, if you enter and, and uh, guys, if you ever want to jump in, please feel free. This is a you know, four way conversation. If you ever enter the stock market, which you, you have done, you have to know before you come in, stocks go up, stocks go down. You know, it's 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 not a it's not about timing the market. It's about time in the market. And uh, for me, I buy companies. I don't buy share prices. Right, share prices is what is what people are prepared to pay on the day. I'm buying the business. So the question I have I have to ask you is, why did you buy Nicola? What? Why did you? Why did you want to buy it? That's why because I didn't know that seriously because uh, I didn't know any uh, like uh, when I was buying and uh, I wasn't prepared, so I just like uh, invested. That's it. But uh, when it was getting down, then I came to know a lot of things like uh, before buying any stock, I have to prepare myself first. Like I have to, uh, like uh, have to research on a company. Like is it worth buying or not? But I didn't even know that in the beginning. So uh, now I'm realizing why because my old stocks <laughs> are down. Seriously, yeah. Right. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to put it simple like this. 
If uh, if you, and I've used this analogy a lot, and guys, they're going to give their thoughts on it, I'm sure, in a minute. Uh, I'm going to use this as, as an example. I like Coke. I drink a can of Coke. And I know how much that refreshes me. I know what it does for me. I also know how bad it is for me as well. I know what a Coke does for me, how much it refreshes me and how much it damages my health, right? So it has a value to me. And uh, I'm prepared to spend a dollar on a can of Coke. That's what the price is. That's a fair price. If you then said to me, I can buy Coke today at 20 cents, I would load up on Coke because I would fill the fridge with Coke and fill the cupboards with Coke because then what would happen is I've got loads of Coke. I can sa- I can save my money and reinvest in other things because I bought into the future for something that I know is worth more than 25 cents. However, if you turn around to me and say it's now $10 a can of Coke, I'm not going to buy it because it's overpriced. It doesn't provide me with that return. It's not a good investment. I'm losing money. Now, the only way I would buy that can of Coke for $10 is is if is perhaps it was the only can of Coke in the whole world. And there was no water. Everybody was really thirsty. And my can of Coke was going to be worth a million dollars because everybody wants to drink my can of Coke. That's how the stock market works, right? So what you're looking to do... Oh, hello. Let's read this. Mario J. Ortiz donated $4.99 through a super chat. Agreed I have many investments in the NYSE and crypto. The one crypto I hold and believing most is Doge Lunmars that token is a sleeping giant. Th- thank you very much, Mario Ortiz. Right over Mark Saxby's face. I do apologize when that happens, but thank you for the super chat. And <laughs> Mark's going, I'm worth $5. Right, there you go. Um... That's your price tag now, Mark. Five bucks, basically. That's your value review right there. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'll um, maybe I'll go and buy some or half of uh, Virgin Galactic this morning. <laughs> exactly. You might as well. You got five bucks. You might as well do it. Uh, so that's that. So that's that's basically the, the fundamentals with you know buying buying something. You're buying a an asset, a company, and or whatever, and you're buying it, looking at it that you believe in the future that company is going to earn more money and become more valuable. So at some point. We all sell the stocks we own, whether you put them into trust and they get they get donated to a you know a charity or, or family members when you pass away. But at some point, you dispose of those in some way, whether it's to pay for your pension and live on it in the future, or you give it away or whatever. But at some point, you're hoping that your stocks are going to be worth more. Now, if you're going to buy a stock, whatever it is, I've, I've already done the research on my can of Coke. I know what it's worth. I know the going price. I know what it does for me. I know where it's going. I buy it. If you're buying Nikola, I'm guessing from what you said, you bought it because for some reason it, that's kind of cool. That's the future. That's that's scientific. That's that's cool. And it's really cheap, or at least you think it's cheap because the stock price is low, but you didn't compare how many shares there were. Rem- imagine if there was if there, if we take Coca-Cola, a really great business, and there's one share available. That one share. There's only one share available of Coca-Cola. What would that share price be today? It would be a trillion dollars, right? It'd be a huge, it'd be the value of the company, that one share. So you have to understand what that share, you know, equates to. What is it really worth? Just because a share is 20 cents doesn't mean to say it's a good, it's cheap, because there could be billions of shares at 20 cents. So you need to find out what the market cap is, what the company's worth, how much it earns. Look at the balance sheet, which is why I do the reviews. You see the balance sheet. You see how much money it's earning, how much profit it's making. And if you think the profit is under, it's undervalued because the profit is going up and it's going to grow and do better, like Tesla's going to take over the world, blah, 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 then you're prepared to pay more for the stock because everybody else is buying it because they know where it's going. But just to buy it because it's it popped up on your app, and like you said, you didn't know what you were buying, but it looked good, and you bought it, probably isn't the best way of starting out, if I'm honest. And, and I know you don't mind me laughing and having a joke. A good idea, and I'm going to come to the guys and give... You know, I want their input, because they, they, they're old and wise investors too. Sorry, guys, but you are. You're old like me, just saying. 
All right. Um, uh, Mark's looking, going, I'm old. Mark, Mark froze for a moment there. I thought, he's going, I'm not old. What are you on about? No one's old as you, Martin. Uh, and I, I reckon Vishal is the youngest member here, so he can do with your, uh, your he could do with your input. Um, uh, I forgot my train of thought there. What was I going to say about, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. Oh, yes. I was going to say this, and then I'm going to, I'm going to let the guys chime in, is you could do what's called paper trading. You can, uh, you can go onto your app, even if your app doesn't do it, there are other brokerages that do, and you can actually paper trade. In other words, you could be buying and selling stocks for free. It's just imaginary, but at least you learn how it works. Now, don't think that means you know, you now know how to do it. If you haven't done the research, you've just, you've just practiced buying and selling shares. You've not learned anything. You just know how to buy and sell shares. A lot of people say, do paper trading and practice. And they think then they know stuff. You don't. You just know how to trade. You still don't know how to read a balance sheet and what the company does. You've got to do that as well. So don't be lazy. It's hard to invest and it's hard to make money. But the biggest investment you'll make is on yourself your mentality, your emotions, because you are the biggest risk here. You, because the company might be great. The company might be rubbish, but if you're going to sell out of fear, or oh, we got another one, Mark Saxby's Rana getting- one donated $2 through a super chat. Best high envy is yourself and Martin slash sensei $30 review. <laughs> there we go. Best uh, inverse yourself. And my oh, we got Rallo One wants a uh, multi review. So uh, Sensei, will you in the chat say you could do a review with me? Whether you could do it privately and send me the video. Uh, are you agree? Would you agree to do a review on? INV, we do need the name of the company, not just INV. Give us the name of the company. If you say yes, I say yes already, right? Rallo is going to do a, a $30 super chat. So, Sensei, say yes. Yes is the right answer. All right. So, uh, don't just do paper trades, Vishal. Research, learn about the, tr the trades, learn what investing is about, and then educate yourself. And then you will be in a much better place. And uh, a diverse portfolio is king. I'm not going to speak anymore. I want Mark and Zach Zate to jump in here and give their opinions as well. Mark, what's your thoughts on what you've heard from Vishal this morning? Uh, I hope you can hear me because I'm not. The, I'm not sure how the signal is. I'm sorry for the unprofessionalism, but don't worry Zach's about it. And they're like, he's like, you know. Yeah, on TV, and I'm like, you can't even see me now because I keep having a move. Don't around. worry about it. As long as um, I look good, Mark, that's all that matters. As long as I'm professional, you're just you're you're the guest. You can be as unprofessional um, as you like. <laughs> that's the main thing, right? Yeah, that's the main thing. What do you think about Vishal? What, any, um, any words so, of wisdom? Oh, I myself. Sorry. I own, I own Nicola myself. I bought it um, before all the Milton scandal when Trevor, you know, and Hindenburg attacked them. Um, I'm not sure. Um, Mark, I, I think we're going to have to just go over to Zach Zate in a minute. I am losing your audio from where you are. Zach Zate, yeah. give me your thoughts. Yes, stock market, which means you need to stock the market leaving the market being in the market what you buy if you buy a can of coke for one dollar and you invest one dollar in the same in the market in coca-cola you start to believe to be a fan of what you love do what you love what's the i never lie so nicola uh traver uh, definitely did bad for the company but if it was a uh, nicola fisker or the name, the original name, we might be in a different place. Now, I live in California since the last earning. I've been looking for Nikola trucks. I want to see the Nikola truck coming and traveling south, north California. But instead of that, I've seen the new Tesla truck, the electric truck. I publish it also on this. Also on this. So I know that I never lie. Once I'll see the Nikola, I promise the first thing, I'll take a picture, I'll show you all. I want to see. So leaving the market, being in the market, being a fan of your stock or what you love. And as I mentioned, stock, you got to stock 
your company and leave the market. Enjoy it. Not look at it as a work, a daily train, a lot of opportunities, but a lot of uh, uh, white nights, long nights, investigations and opportunities always. But to be an investor, just uh, I write it, invest in W-O-R-K, W-O-R-K, work. Go to work, make money, and that's uh, the best because the market is a beautiful game to stock for what you love. Michelle, have you, have you got any qu yes. specific questions? Uh, no, I'm all right. Thank you so much for uh, bringing, having me here. And uh, as you know, like I'm a new here. So uh, yeah, I learned a lot of things from you guys. So uh, maybe definitely I'll work on it, whatever you said. Your, well, not whatever I say, it's whatever you say. Yeah, I'm I know. Not, Right, right. Uh, <laughs> don't don't do whatever I say. I I live in my own little world. My brother says, yeah, "Mine, yeah. when are you going to come out of your bubble? You've been living in a bubble all your life. I'm 55 years of age, and I've created my own little world. The rest of the world wouldn't understand it. Right? This is my world. But I'm happy here, but don't j jump into my world because my world's bonkers. I live in a studio in the dark, surrounded by spotlights every day. Not very healthy. I'm like a vampire, basically. I'm I'm weird." All right. When I was at school, I was I was Billy No Mates until I left school. Then I was then I then then they thought I was rock and roll when I was playing and singing. They, then then all the girls liked me then when I, when I left school. But at school, I was Mr. Billy No Mates. I wasn't very cool at all. Um, <laughs> probably not very cool now either. Anyway, it's the middle bit. The middle bit was good. The the bit the bit at the beginning and the bit now was rubbish. The bit in the middle was good. Uh, Vishal, you can always call in. You can be on the show anytime you want. Uh, we've got the 12 hour stream, the extra channel. If you get in there and join that, uh, I don't know if you're a member of that yet. It's a member only 99 bucks, but you can talk to everybody every day, 12 hours a day and people will help you. And because it's members only, no one's going to be in there trying to tell you rubbish and try to send you up the garden path and get you to buy rubbish. We're here to help people. And do you know what? The member, I, I don't, I don't know. It's very hard to equate it all, but I think the members of this channel generally do quite well because we get good information, even though our stocks are, might be down right now or whatever. I think we feel good about it because we're, we got we support each other. And if you've got support from people, even if the stocks are down, you feel okay and you'll probably make the right decision because you've got the support of the family, not, you know, get out, you know, what, whatever you do, don't, don't use YouTube and a lot of YouTubers because I'm not, I don't even regard myself as a YouTuber, as I've explained before. Don't go on things like BitBoy and all these people and who are trying to s promote the stock for their own benefit and their own thumbnails. You know, do your own research and uh, you know that we're all here to help you. And I wish you the best. How old, you look, you look quite a young man. How old are you? <laughs> yeah, just like 28 only. There you go. See, you are, you're just starting out and you are in a very good position. And let me just put an old head on a young shoulders just for a minute. If you could live with being boring, like Warren Buffett or like me, right? And you only bought the S&P at your age and you put the, the, as much money as, as you can every month into it. Remember, rich people invest and spend what's left. Poor people spend on all the brands and the names and the Nike t-shirts and invest what's left. If you can act like a rich person, invest everything, spend what's left, and you only bought the S&P. Remember, it isn't that boring. It's 500 of the best companies in the world. And you did that now at 28, I think you said you were, until my age, you will be a millionaire. That will happen in a very healthy, happy way, without the stress and the drama. So just think about that. There's a, it's worth thinking about, right? Yep, thank and you. I wanna, yeah. And I want to congratulate everybody that just passed the tax year on the 15, which means... We got Stacey another one. Sealy donated $2 through a super chat. Vishal, you have a great smile. Keep smiling, kiddo. Hey, that was good. Uh, let me just, uh, we've got Mark Saxby's, oh, he's not, he's not on camera. 
uh, for the minute. There, there's Mark, but he's not on camera. Ha, ha, uh, Mark, just turn your camera on. Vishal, we just lost Michelle. Vishal. He got a super chat from Stacey Bailey saying he's got a lovely smile. What sort of show is this? What's going on here? <laughs> anyway, um, let me just clean up the... Uh, I think we've just lost Mark. Let me just go over to... Uh, let me just bring in Zach's eight again for the minute. And I will go to the right, Zach's to the left. There we go. I don't think we've got Mark on camera. Zach's eight. That's been, that was a that was a good phone in Friday phone yeah, in, wasn't it? Oh my god, one hour. Has so, it been one hour? About. Bloody hell. So I want to congratulate everybody that uh, paid their taxes and passed the tax day, which means. We survived another year with our business. <laughs> well, there you go. If I can only live to pay my taxes, life is good, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's true. There are people today in Gaza who would love to be around to pay their taxes. Don't moan about it. Nothing wrong with that. You're here. We're together. We're having a laugh. I'm sitting in the dark, surrounded by spotlights, talking to my mate, originally from Israel, now living in California, with Mark Saxby coming in and out like a blue ass fly. Uh, Vishal popping in, young man, 28, apparently got a lovely smile, calling to Stacey. What a day we've had today. Can't believe it, can you, Zach? Incredible members, incredible to keep follow and uh, uh, be around your uh, broadcast. It's uh, just again. Good, another good day for the family. Zach Zay, love you to bits. See you next time. Happy Friday. Thank you so much. Happy Friday. There you go. Best phone in ever. Best phone in ever. That was right. I can't be sitting here all day. I've got to get out and get some fresh air. Uh, I've got to go out. We never heard back. We never heard back from Sensei. Sensei never said, yes, I'm happy to do a joint review uh, for Inv. Sensei, you let me down here, mate. Sensei, all you've got to do is say, yes, I will do it. Here's Sensei in the chat, look. Sensei, just say yes, and I get 30 bucks. Come on, mate. It's not hard. Just go yes. You haven't got to do it today. Just say yes. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, we've got 30 bucks here sitting on the line. Rallo1 says, best uh, inverse INV investment is yourself for Martin and Sensei. $30 review. There you go. Uh, Sensei, uh, uh, Rallo wants an, uh, sorry, investment. He doesn't mean INV, the stock. He just means, would you do a, a joint review? We don't know what it is right now. We just went for Sensei to go, yeah, but he, he, you know, he ain't, is he? Anyway. I've got to get out of here. I can't be sitting here all day talking to you lot. I've got to do stuff. Um, what's the PW? To, what's the password to call in? The password's here. It's never changed. Lucas AIDS uh, 100. There it is. Capital L, capital A. Why, do you want to call in? you got to be quick because I was going to get off. I was going to go and have a cup of tea. What's going on here? Um, right. Sensei likes this. Shall we have a look at the subscribers today? Shall we have a quick look and see how we did? There we go. We've had 925. Bloody hell. Really? Whoa, 600. Ooh, 600 in the last 60 minutes. How about that? 22,000. <laughs> 22,198. That's not what he was saying, though. I don't know what he was saying. I don't understand it. I'm sure he was saying, look, don't worry about it. Let's move on. I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. Paper trading is like trading to play poker. Without money doesn't work. That way it makes money the rules of the game. Without the money, there is no game. That's very, very true. Making money is the stock market is good. Uh, Zach, I, uh, Zach, I just received a reply from Jefferson Boots. He attached the info I need to invest in the company. There you go. Some of you are going, is this real? Is this real? Can I really buy a gold mine? I just received a reply from Jefferson Boots, the CEO of the gold mine, about to go public. Gold's going up 40%. You're going to get a 30% discount off the stock when it when, when you convert. You're immediately going to get a 10% bonus. It's free money. And uh, there you go. Don't tell me that we don't bring you great deals here on the show. You've got literally... 
a day or two to get in on this. It's about to end. So if you've just tuned in and you're thinking, what's going on? Steve Wally has just mentioned this here. What's all this about? This is what it's all about. Let me share with you on the screen this. It's a members-only video. Only members can see it. But in this video, you will get the email and the details of Jefferson Boots. If you think you can copy and share the email out to everybody else, you can't because you have to be a member. Hello, hello, hello. We got Stephen Lewandowski on the phone. We got Stephen Lewandowski on the phone. What's he want? Let me, let, let, here he is. Turn your phone on the on your side if you can. Turn your phone on the, on the site. Dylan has just become a member. He wants to find out all about it. Uh, so here we go. Let's bring in. Dylan Cackley has become a member. Yes, Dylan Cackley has become a member. So add me to the right, uh, add you to the left. Uh, let's do this. I've got to change the camera now. You know why it's done that? That's because uh, somebody else buggered off earlier on. Uh, Stephen Lewandowski. There he is. There's Stephen Lewandowski. How are you, mate? Good. How are you? I'm all right, Great. mate. Can't Great to see so you. I don't have to hold it. That's all right. Great to see you. You're looking well, mate. Yep. Thank you. Uh, I sold my Virgin Galactic yesterday. No, you've <laughs> sold it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to go in with the reverse split. Nah. How many? Yeah. You had a lot of. Sh didn't you have like 8,000 shares? Yeah, I had uh, 7,666 shares. I still got 20 in a, a, a small brokerage account from Fidelity. But Wow. So you sold for a loss, obviously. Yeah. Well, it was, it was my IRA. I already sold the other half about a year and a half ago. And oh, that was okay. Everything out of the brokerage uh, accounts except for the Fidelity account. I sold and I kept the IRA Right. With so, okay. but I, I, I did good on uh, tax harvesting. I still got uh, over thirty six thousand for capital gains for this year. So I don't <laughs> do because uh, I'm buying oil. Uh, MTDR is my thing. Yeah, I know you make I a lot of money oil. with that. I love oil, and uh, is it is it still good to buy oil now, even though it's popped up? Actually, Actually, it's it's down somewhat. Uh, MTDR, I've been watching. It's at about sixty five dollars. I'm actually looking to buy in around this, about sixty or below. I, I'm watching the price and see if it drops off. But I may miss it again. I've done that before. I always try to at least make two dollars to five dollars to ten dollars to fifteen. And the last couple of times I did it. Uh, the last two times I did it, I made fifteen dollars a share, and I made sixteen dollars a share. I made twenty-two thousand, and then I made uh, thirty-six four on oil on Matador. <laughs> so I'm doing well, pretty good. So you can afford you can afford this loss today, right? You can take and, this loss. And the, the money I spent on space, which I bought like ugh, it was like uh, two thousand twenty-one in December, I paid fourteen and fifteen dollars for. And I held it, and I put like two hundred and thirty-five thousand in buying it. And I probably only got back about uh, after selling everything, and probably only got back about forty thousand of that money. And then I tax harvested, you know. So can I can I say? Oh, sorry. Can can I can I say it's you looking really well? full of energy and life. And I'm so pleased because for those of the members will know that Stephen was gone for quite a while due to uh, ill health and everyone yeah. was really worried about you. We couldn't get hold of you and because everyone really looks out for everybody every day. When someone comes in, they go, suddenly, where's that person gone? And I always say to everybody, everyone needs someone who can come on and let us know. If, if the worst ever happens, we would never know. We'd be like 10 years later going... What happened to Stephen Lewandowski? Thank God we got hold of you and you came in and you said you wasn't well. A lot of people were concerned for your health and well-being and we're so glad to see you back with us and well again. I spent about 30 to 45 days in bed. Uh, I was That's just sick. lazy. That's just lazy, though, lying in bed for 30 days. I was sick. I lost like 15 pounds. <laughs> Did you? 
yeah. Uh, I'm uh, sorry to hear that. It's just uh, a bad, uh, I forget the name of the, what, what I was, uh, what I had, but uh, I was bit pretty bad and uh, I couldn't breathe. And I just, uh, I fought it and fought it and, and I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm okay now. So I'm, yeah. I'm doing, I actually bought a bike yesterday. I'm going to start biking around. Well, a motorbike? No, no, no. Push just bike. Just a regular pedal bike, yeah. Oh, pedal bike. Okay. Yeah. So, but I, uh, the losses in what I bought the space is, I bought it all with oil. Uh, what I made before, uh, when I first started, when the pandemic hit, I bought oil when it was like $15 a barrel. Yeah. And, uh. I made five hundred fifty thousand dollars on oil back then. Wow, that's you know, that's what made my day uh, was with trading. That's why I love oil so much, and I learned to trade oil. Uh, just Matador's my thing. So, um, Stephen, I'm, I'm yeah, and I keep everybody informed that when I'm gonna yes. Buy again. People really appreciate your information input on oil. You're the oil man. You're our J.R. Ewing. Uh, so we appreciate you calling yeah. in. Stephen, I've got to let you go. I'm way over time today. I've got to go and have my lunch. Thank you ever All so right. much for calling in. It's great to see you, and thank you for being uh, on today. Okay. See everybody later. I'll call in at one other time, another time, whatever. There you go. Brilliant. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Stephen Lewandowski, everybody, live on the show. Absolutely awesome. Uh, we just had, uh, I've, I've got to get off, folks, but uh, we did just have a an alert come in uh, from Mario. What are your thoughts on the Bitcoin halving? Well, of course, Sensei is the man to talk to. He will be live on Sunday for the Bitcoin show, um, a, a crypto show. Uh, that's on Sunday. So let me give you the link for that now. Go to the homepage right now. Look on the homepage and you will see upcoming live streams. There's today's show, there's the closing bell, and there is the Sunday show. If you want to know all about Bitcoin, the halving, crypto, the crypto challenge, uh, I'm going to give everybody this link right now. If you go there at the end of the show, here is, uh, there's the link for everybody uh, in the chat. I'll also give it to everybody over on the extra channel as well. I know we have an audience watching on the extra channel behind the scenes. Uh, I'll also give it to my Rumble audience. Rumble now is really growing for me uh, very, very quickly. Uh, there is my link for Rumble. Uh, on Sunday, uh, Sensei will be doing a special on the Bitcoin halving, I'm sure. Look, we've already got members there going over there, leaving co comments. So if you go there now, you can do this. Look, you can leave a like. Let Sensei know you're going to be there. You can click notify like that and you can go and you can say, uh, let's say, for example, you can say, Oi, <laughs> Oi, Sensei, what's up? You can do that, all right? You can do that. It's called Cash in the Attic. We type. We like to take the mic. We like to have a laugh at Sensei. Uh, Cash in the Attic is, a, is an antique show on, on, on every Sunday night on the BBC. There's money in the attic to be made, and Sensei is what it's all about. Today is having day. It's happening today. Sensei, unfortunately, he's not here. He's on holiday again. I know. Have you ever known someone on holiday so much? He's always on bloody holiday. Uh, anyway, there you go. I'm here. I can tell you all about the Bitcoin oven if you want. You want to hear it? Probably not. You probably don't want to hear it from me. You want to hear it from the man himself. Well, on Sunday, you can hear all about it. Hear all about it. Hear all about it on Sunday. Wait, you've got to have patience. Don't point, no point talking to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, I just make this stuff up. So when it comes to crypto, don't talk to me. you got to talk to Sensei on Sunday. Now then, what we got to do now is we're going to send you all behind the scenes once again. But tonight, we have a special event. Special event. And in fact, you're going to get a little bit of a glimpse of it in a minute. Because on Friday nights, every Friday night, we have a music concert. But tonight is going to be special. 
Is it going to be special, Martin? What's special about it? Let me tell you. Here is the upcoming live stream. Uh, here it is. Here it is. It's a, it's going to be a big one. Oh, Forever Young by Rod Stewart. Did that? Did that? When did that come in? When did that? When did that come in? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, alert! 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 One, two, three. I didn't see that come in. When did that come in? Uh, that must have been a while ago. Anyway, here is the link. What we're going to do, Forever Young, is I'm going to go now. Let me give everyone the link. There is the link. All right. That's for tonight's show. All right. You can go there now. Leave a like, leave a comment. We got some special requests that you have asked me to learn. But what we're going to do now, this is why it's so special, is we're going to go over to the extra channel live right now. And I'm going to go to the piano in a minute and I'm going to play around behind the scenes. You love it when I do this. I know you do. You've told me. You love it when I go behind the scenes and learn new songs for the Friday night concert. So you can see me doing it in the extra channel. So let me send you all there now. Are you ready? It's like magic. It's like, that's magic. All right. We're going <laughs> to that was a bad impression of Paul Daniels, but don't worry about it. Right. I've get, we've just gone through a thousand views this morning. I can't believe it on a regular Friday show. Amazing. Right. Here is the, uh, I sent Ros Stewart in. Uh, when was that? Uh, for, I sent in the Ros Stewart on, in when you asked the audience to send in Super Chat. To appear. Oh, was that, was that a, a week or so ago, was it? All right, then. There, there is the extra channel where I'm going to be live right now. Let's get out of here. Let's send everybody. So what you do now, what you do now, you all come over to the extra channel. This is where everybody is waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They're waiting to give you a welcome. We keep a welcome in the hillside. Right, we keep a welcome in the extra channel. We keep a welcome in the extra. Right, over here. We got Chris Schultz. We got everybody. We got the Flintstones. Wilma! <laughs> We've got the team waiting to welcome you in. Cheers, Martin. Time for a cup of tea. They're waiting there in the extra channel. I'm going to get off now and I'm going to send you over there. And then we're going to go back behind the studio and we're going to have a little bit of a rehearsal once I've had my tea and biscuits. All right. That's it from me. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Uh, we're not doing. Shall we do date? No, we got to get off. I've I've done I've done too much today. I've done too much. I've given you too much of myself. I've been too kind. I've been too kind. Have you noticed the hair is getting fuzzy? It's Saturday. It's time to trim the hair. Every two weeks, you can see on the Friday, uh, two weeks the hair gets a bit spiky. I like to call it a Mohican, and yes, it is. A Mohican. If anyone's going, you're bold, mate. No, this is a designer Mohican. And this Friday, it shall be trimmed to kept nice and tidy. That's it. I just got emailed back from Jeff Boots as well. Trick A, look at that. All of you are getting message back from Jefferson Boots. We did get a new member. Uh, did I give you the, the video? Uh, hopefully you've watched the video of all the things that you get as a member. You can come on to Discord, get all the perks and benefits. Here is the link. There you go. Go and watch it. Right. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'll see you back in a bit. Come and join me on the extra channel. We're at 22,199. I'm loving it. Right. That's it. See you back in a bit. I am receiving the document now. It is leaving me with questions. I will chat in Discord. Trike, uh, you can uh, chat in Discord. You can chat in the Extra Channel. Uh, there's many of you that have done it. You can also email back Jeff and ask questions. You can do whatever you like. It's completely over to you. You're buying, you are buying a convertible note of a private company of a gold mine when it uh, when it's um, lists on the New York Stock Exchange, you'll be able to get a 10% bonus because that 1,000 will give you 1,100 if that's what you do. If you give, if you put 10,000 in, you'll have 11,000. You get 10% to spend on the stock when it comes out. Then you get a 30% discount on the stock. It's a no-brainer. It's a great deal. I wouldn't have mentioned it to my members if it wasn't. All right, that's it. I'm going to get in the studio and learn some songs. Bye-bye for now. Uh, I'll see you back in a bit. Uh, oh, hello. Hang on. Can you please 
have a longer session with Stephen Lewandowski. Uh, hang on a minute. Cham. Let's read this. Wait for a minute. Wait for a minute. I was just about to go then. Cham came back with a five Canadian dollar super chat. I can't believe it. I was just about to go. Get in the studio. Get ready. And this happened. I've got to wait now. I've got to wait for it to show me the the uh, the thing. Not today. I know not today, but I've got to at least play your... Do you know what? We'll, let's do this. We'll play the show out. We'll play the show out. Here we go. we got to get the super... There it is. Chan donated five Canadian dollars through a super chat. Can you please have a longer session with Stephen Lewandowski? Like to get some oil tips. We can arrange that. We can arrange that. Let's roll the credits, shall we? Roll those credits. A lot to celebrate today. Lots of super chats, lots of members, lots of subscribers, all sorts today. Shall we roll the credits? Roll the credits. Thank you for your super chat stars of today's show. Who are the stars today? <laughs> subscribers, Christopher Coma and Kozio Todorov. These are the public subscribers. Members, Rye, Tosh69, Dylan Cackley, Super Chats, Wadey, Mark Saxby, Seth Houston, Mario, Rallo One, Stacey Bailey, and Cham. I will do it another day, says uh, Stephen Lewandowski. He's thinking, I'm, I, I feel all important now. He's thinking, I'm glad I came back. I mean, I'm going to lay in bed for 30 days, you know. Uh, I just thought he was being lazy. Did you notice, though, he lay in bed for 30 days being lazy, losing, he lost 15 pounds. I think that's what I need to go and do. After today's show, I'm going to lay in bed for 30 days, lose 15 pounds, I'll be back a brand new man. How about that? I need to do, I, I need to lose 15 pounds. <laughs> I will do it another day, said Stephen Lewandowski. Thanks, Martin, great show. Thank God it's Friday. Join me now in the uh, in the chat, in the uh, extra channel. We're going to have a bit of fun. I'm going to go to the piano and lark about uh, and stuff like that. You never know what's going to happen there. And that's it. I'll see you back in a bit. Until then, as always, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Uh, I've got to go. This music is too long today. I'm not even going to wait for it to finish. I've got to go. There's going to be a brutal cutoff now. It's brutal. I just don't care. It's my show. I do what I like. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'm starving. I've got something to eat. ta -ra. Hang on. What's this? You can never leave. The show must go on. No. No, it doesn't. Not even for a $2 super chat. Sundays are better. You can never leave. Yes, I can. Just watch me. Sundays are better donated $2 through a super chat. You can never leave, Martin. The show must go on. You want to bet? <laughs>